Ah, there it is. Hello, everyone. Face of here, and welcome to another episode session of D and D. We're gonna be playing some. Uh... I should change my intro <laughs> for a D and D session. We're gonna be playing with our friends Quarantine. Uh, we're gonna be playing some more D and D uh, session two, I believe, is we're on. Um, where did we leave off last time? We left off. Our friends rescued uh, a halfling merchant. And uh, some craziness, goofiness went down, and then uh, they were on their way on to the next town. Um, so I guess we will see where our crazy friends get off to. Um, so let us switch over and then unmute myself on Discord. So I can hear their lovely, lovely faces. Where is it? There it is. Unmute self. There we go. What's up, kids? Hey. Hello. All right. Everyone is here. <sighs> We are almost on time today, which is much better than our last time, which is good. Uh, as always, issues with uh, Fantasy Grounds, but this time, knock on wood, we didn't have any uh, internet issues. So that's good. Um, let's see. All right, you guys ready to, just to get down and dirty into this? Let's go. Um, let's see. You guys left off. You kind of helped that halfling merchant uh, with the, the little goblin raid there. Um, I guess you're kind of following behind him with his a little bit jacked up wagon. <laughs> with uh, Lucio in the very back. That's that's true. <sighs> with my head still solo <laughs> from what happened. Um, but you guys are traveling on to the next town. Uh, do you guys have anything that you need to get off your chest, need to say? You just going to bullshit? What are you guys doing? <sighs> I mean, I'm just staying in the back, just still embarrassed by what everyone thinks of me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, just by myself sulking, basically. Lucius just by himself. He doesn't, he doesn't want to talk to anyone right now. <laughs> he's, just, <laughs> he's too embarrassed. He's just a little upset. Mm. Okay. Um, well, you guys are going to continue traveling to the next town. Um, you guys are going to arrive... I uh, probably should come up with a name. Um, I think I had one. I just don't remember what it was. Let me see. Uh, Yalish. You guys arrive at a town called Yalish. Uh, sun is starting to set. Uh, it's still light enough out, but it's about, if you were to compare it to us, summertime, maybe 8 p.m. It's still good enough lighting, but it's going to get dark here uh, very quickly. Um... The halfling got pretty far ahead of you. He he continued on his way um, into the uh, the town. And as far as you can tell, you don't know where he went off to. You can see the wagon tracks go off a little bit past the town. But the town is very tiny. Uh, there's, you know, a handful, dozen of houses around. Um, it looks pretty simple. There's probably maybe max of 500 people in this little town here. And I'm trying to find sound effects for you guys, but I'm struggling. Let's see. Mm. This might work good enough. Um, but so you arrive at this town. Um, that was a couple hours journey. You guys are pretty tired from w walking all that way. You didn't have any uh, quick movements or horses or anything, so... Uh, what do you what are you all gonna be doing off to? Well, I'm... Uh, I'm gonna find a place to find an inn or something. Is there a, is this town big enough to have an inn? Yes, there's a there's a small inn. I'm trying to find yeah. sound effect here. Um, I heard Discord. Is someone having issues? No, no, no. Okay. We're discussing Kingdom Hearts 20 sided dice. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Bad players, bad players. Disadvantage on all your checks. Not paying attention to your DM. Um. <laughs> Crimson started it. You were looking for. Yeah, she did. Yeah, you were looking for an inn, so. I'm trying to. I'm trying to find, like. A. Ambient sound. Oh, here you go. This will. This might be fine. Let's use this one. Um. Yeah, it's a very small inn. It is from what you can tell is it's actually a conglomeration. There's an inn, there's a tanner, 
and there's kind of a, a a minor market and kind of a blacksmith all attached into one this this town is very small so they're kind of combining all their uh People are jacks of all Shops. trades. They, 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 yeah, they do many jobs. Why is this? Okay, that's the sound of the inn. You can barely hear it. Um, but as you walk in, um, it's getting dark inside, and uh, there's a guy. He's at the he's at the bar, and he's cleaning up. He's polishing his steins and stuff. And uh, he sees you walk in. He says, "Welcome. Have a seat." Thank the you. first thing Lushu does is completely ignores what he says, walks straight to the bar and gets himself the strongest drink he can. Uh, so you, right you're ordering a, a strong drink? Yep. My character right would probably be, um, like, probably maybe looking at the menu of, like, drinks and food or and just kind of trying to see what they have. Okay. I'd go up to, uh, um the bar and um i would still be laughing but i i wouldn't go as far as to say to tell the bar people what happened i wouldn't be that bad but i would still be laughing to myself about the situation that was going on and get myself a beer okay i i join echo beside echo and i, I echo would you care to partake of a, of a shot with me y'all y'all walked up just of to the course. bar of course of course. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing about Shots. about earlier. About uh, it's just ridiculous. I mean, uh, all right. Yeah, so, I'll, so I'll take you up on it. I'll, those of you I'll having a drink, uh, go ahead and remove. You know, what is it? Like twenty copper from your inventory. Um, uh, I have to um, a... lose more because my I'm ordering a stronger drink. Sure. Uh, 25. Okay. <laughs> What'd you say, Rokax? Oh Rokax is going to find a, find a table kind of in the back corner with good view of the door and uh, have some food. Okay. Um, let's... Do we have a cool little... Okay, we only have gold. We don't have any copper. Yeah. Oh, someone's... Uh, I just took away gold and made it into... Um, <laughs> 99 silver and 75 copper. That's yeah. fine. Um, so 75 copper and silver. 99 silver. Cool. See, I'm trying to see if I can find you guys. So you said 25 copper for our drinks. Uh, yeah. 20 copper for your drinks. Uh, or, uh, Blue Shoes is a little stronger, so his was a little more spicy pricey um I just, I'd actually oh you got a meal um partake in a strong drink too so i guess i could <laughs> okay so yeah removes 25 copper if you're gonna be taking a strong drink 20 copper if it's a normal drink if you're gonna be having some food he's gonna uh after he delivers the drinks to everyone at the bar he's gonna come over uh to where rokax is sitting and says uh knock I feel like you're not gonna join your friends. All eating quiet here. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, our menu's not amazing, but uh, we got some basic pork here. Uh, we have some beef, chicken. Will it be? Uh, whatever's easiest. Okay. Uh, yeah, he says, uh, pork and mashed potatoes it is. I'll be right back. Great. Um, he's it'd be fifteen copper, and uh, so he's gonna be serving you up some some snacks. Um, as he's uh cooking up Just stuff in the back room, it. he's gonna come up. And he says, uh, "So, what brings you all into to Yalish? We haven't we haven't had a visitors around here, uh, at least in." Uh, grouping like this in quite some time. We usually just get merchants that kind of pass through to resupply and move on their way. Yeah, Lucius kind of looks up from the bar and says, "Just passing through. <laughs> just trying, trying to still, still a bit shaken up. <laughs> you know, still nervous about if anyone knows what's actually going on." 
Um, I'm to echo as he's saying this, and I just gesture at like, no, I feel like we 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 need to point him at the merchant to get a full story. Um, it's a catch twenty two. Do you betray your friend, <laughs> or do you do you tell them a really funny story about your friend that he may forgive you for later? <laughs> I won't. <laughs> well, as though you're probably gonna die because you can't rogue to save yourself. Um. <laughs> okay. I reckon. Oh, one yeah. second, I reckon it would be a roll. But uh, I turn to the 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 innkeeper, bartender, and uh, I I say, well, we were coming from another town. And we saw a merchant in need of help. We followed him to the nearest town after we had helped him. Oh. Uh, I believe I know who you're talking about. A uh, shorter man of stature. Uh, he looked a little roughed up. His wagon could uh, definitely have seen better days. Is that who you're talking about? Yeah. Yes, we, we are talking about the halfling merchant. Yeah, he, uh, he passed through quickly. He just got his gear up. And I don't know if he's actually staying... In Yalish, or if he uh, continued to move on. Seemed like a decent enough fellow, although a bit shaken up. Might be a good thing for Lushu if uh, he doesn't stay in town. Uh, he, you say that out loud, Boring actually? Did you actually say that out loud, Pancog? <laughs> Um, I just turned to Echo and I kind of mouth it. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, he's gonna say, so, how, how long do you believe, think you're gonna be staying here? I'm, I'm going to assume we, we aren't going to stay very long. We're looking for some, some information and probably just a place to stop for the night. Yes, we're only doing a study, uh, a survey of the area to see if we can collect some bits. So, only one or two nights. I got you. I got you. It's like, well, you looking for any work? You just passing through? You well, you say you're just passing through, but if you're looking for any work, um, if you would like, you know, there's there's some work around here that we need doing. Uh, we had a lot of people kind of uh, go off for a festival, and they kind of never came back uh so we don't know what's going on so we have a bunch of work piling up so if you you would like to lend a hand your uh, room and board could be free um corin would say that she's definitely interested in uh um helping out okay I'm yeah what sort of work 100 yeah well there's there's a lot of things um the, the villagers have uh, taken to hanging up some posters and stuff in if you the yonder wall over there on any sort of work that needs done. Uh, we're all trying to pitch in the best we can for a small trade, barter, um, you know, honeydew kind of thing. Uh, if you check it out in the back, uh, I do know uh, some of the simpler ones. We got uh, one, of, one of our dear uh, children of the town has lost her cat. Um, so she's been looking out for that. Um, there's also a new group of people that are looking to, uh, or one, the brewmaster further down the road is having issues with his cellar. He's saying he ha he's having a rat problem that he wants to take care of. Um, and there, there's just various things. You can check them all out in the, the back area as you need. Do you have uh, a supply store? Yeah, it's actually somewhere to you're buy in it. supplies. <laughs> you're in it. Okay, it's all like part of the same thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So. He's like, um, this this is the the general store is in the same area. If you're looking for more specialty stuff, uh, Charcy, uh, down the road might be something uh to talk to, or a little more information on where you can get things. Um, I'm the guy that you need to talk to, if you uh need to know where to go in town, um, and uh. We can go from there. I need to know where to get more arrows. Oh, yeah, we we have those here. Here, yeah, let me pull out the the adventuring gear here. 
And Sorry God, guys, I need to restock my arrows. Actually making me look up arrows. Yes, I am because <laughs> I only have how many arrows left. Well, I'm glad you're um, keeping track of it. I just forget that you have to pay for it. No, we keep track for me. Uh, Let's see. Can I just type arrows? Hooray! How much are they? They don't say. Yeah, I only have 11 arrows left. All right. I have a link just for this situation on how much random stuff like that costs. <clears throat> Let me open it. Because my brain thinks 3-5 edition costs of stuff, and that is wildly different than fifth. I got you. You're looking for arrows? Yeah, just arrows. Uh, arrows are one gold piece per 20. Okay. So, um... Go ahead and, uh... Pay the proper amount and tell me how many you're you're wanting. So, how many silver equals a gold? One hundred. And we just uh. He has about thirty arrows on him. Our... So. Oh, that's nice. Gold fifty one silver. Gold piece for twenty. So you're going to just take one or 20? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out because uh, I just changed all of my gold over to... Uh, oh. I have 55 copper left. You should have more gold than that. Hold on. Yeah, didn't we earn like 30 or something gold from something? So I've yeah, got we have 31, 31 gold. gold. Yeah. Something to keep in mind too is after battle, if uh, you can collect half of the amount of arrows that you shot out of your uh, out of the enemies or whatever. Yeah. So um, just all you gotta do is state that you're doing that. No, you no you all you gotta do is just state that you're doing it, and you can if you shot four arrows, you can go recover two of them. Right. Okay, so your gold looks hmm. fine now. Um. So you spent one gold for 20. So I'll spend two and get 40. Uh, he only has 30, so. Um, well, how many arrows do you I have left probably, already? Um, Cause shop around at the black Smith. You can, oh, all right, hold on. Hancock, how many arrows did you have before you bought new ones? 11. Okay, so you should be at 41. And you spent a gold 50. 51. Should be 51 arrows. He, he only has yep. 30 arrows to sell you. Because I had 11 before I bought two, yeah. Right. Two things at 20. Can you guys not hear me? There we he, go. He only, has, he only has 30 arrows to sell you. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll only spend the, the 120 for arrows. So it'll still be 31 arrows. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's your arrows. You're good on that. Uh, what'd you ask for, Corrin? I was gonna say that um, I'd probably look around the blacksmith shop. I know there's not a lot that, you know, uh, I don't think druids can wield. Um, yeah, if there's metal, you can't but, use I it. I mean, if there's like any, yeah, if there's any like useful upgraded armor, I mean, they can't wear metal, but you know. Like, I don't think there'd you know, be maybe anything. Maybe a new that, outfit, leather. I don't think there'd be anything that you can afford that would be an upgrade anyway. Because uh, everything, mm, okay. your, your start, your guys' starting equipment is pretty good. Yeah. Okay. And uh, um, can I um, buy some rations, some extra food to take with me on the journey? Sure. See how much rations that, cost. And um, this is a bit of a weird one, but I think it could really come in useful. Um, do they have oil for an oil flask at all? Um, here? Yeah, he yeah. He, he has uh one little tin. Okay then. Um, can I have that tin also? Sure. Let's see how much that's gonna cost you. I, I got a feeling the darkness is gonna come. You know, <laughs> darkness is gonna uh, caves in this. But... According to her class features, she can have clubs, daggers, darts, javelins, maces, quarterstaff, scimitar, sickles, slings, or spears. Is what they're proficient in. They're proficient in it. 
but I don't yeah. think she can use it. Yeah. That's what proficiency means. Well, I mean, so uh, is it a small tin? I thought they couldn't use metal, or is that monk? Maybe monk. Thank monk you. is what that can't use metal. Never mind. Um, sorry, I'm opening that that link that I need. Well, monks can use simple weapons and short swords. Really? Who can't use metal? Someone Lushu, can't use what metal. Were you, uh, what were you trying to get oil for? Was it for um, making fires? No, for my um, oil flask. I've actually got two oil flasks on me. Um, both of which have oil in them already, but I have a feeling, you know, we're going to get to a point where I'll either forget to buy oil uh, and we'll be stuck in a dark situation. Um, so if I buy a tin of oil now, it's like foresight, just in case. Um, gotcha. Yeah, and extra food also for when camping at um, campfires. Um, try to think of something else. Uh, someone else go whilst I'm trying to think. Um, oh, sorry. How much did that cost, um, Vasive? Yeah, we're looking that up. So that can be a that can be an improvised weapon. Lighten it on, on fire. Wait, I got it. Um, one small tin of oil, and what else did I get? Food rations. Um, how many rations do they have available? Uh, not many. Uh, not just, many. Just because they uh, they expect either people to buy stuff at the inn and eat here, or they have enough food for like their village. Oh. Okay. Is there in that case? Is there um any food which is long lasting? My long lasting, I mean, roughly, like, it'll last about three days. Like uh, so, salted meat. Days. If kind of stuff? Take, yeah. If I were to take it from there, instead. Yeah. Yeah, they, they have some salted pork in the bag. It's, it's a good meal as well, rather than something little. It's a decent meal. Yeah, um, there, there's some salted pork. You, so, can, you can get three meals out of pork. it. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I'll take that as well then. All right. Sorry, we're looking so at... Let me know how much that costs. Yeah. Your costs. No worries. <laughs> uh, Alright, look up oil. I heard cookie time. We'll get to it in a second. Oil. Oil flask. Alright. <laughs> Um, so it's one silver piece, and you can for your oil flask. Mm -hmm. And then, okay. oh goodness! Oh well, yeah, work. since uh, Corin is a dragonborn, I forgot she has a breath weapon as well. Uh, for one yeah, ration yeah. pack, it, yeah, she has a breath weapon. One ration pack is five silver each, so you can fifteen five silver, silver 15. for three. Yep. And then, uh, let's see. Okay. Hey, Gops, how's it going, man? Let me get some dogs with some their Ooh, treaties nice. and their biddies. I appreciate it, man. Three, and a go. Mama! Thank you for treaties. Mama, come here! Alright, she might be upstairs sunbathing. So I'll save those for her. Okay, so cereal's all set up for some stuff. What's up, Skull? I'm gonna move. I'm gonna... Save this happy <laughs> equipment over here. Cookie time. And crimson with the cookies. All right, we're doggo is getting all the cookies here in a second. Let's spoil the doggies. Here we go. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> popping in with the cookies. <laughs> all right, hold on. All right, there's one from cereal, and there's one from crimson. Oh my gosh, and pancake with the sub. Oh my god. All right, well, minor. Minor, uh, <laughs> distraction here. Take a photo to stop. And Mama's has a pile of treats right here now. <laughs> hey, Pancake, now you are teal for some reason. Uh, what color do you want for your your sub badge thing, sticker thing that floats behind me that you can't see right now? I say the, the only color that matters is green. Green. All right. Let me see. This is the color you need. And we'll do this real quick. Does anyone else need any, um, are talking to the, the dude here? Um, I suppose you should probably, you guys could introduce yourselves if you want. Well, I think we, we, we still have, have we really truly met, um, uh, Corin yet? Like, we had a little nope. brief introduction, then it was kind of like interrupted by the merchant. So, but none of us have 
truly in, um, invite. I uh, know oh, because we spent the night at the other inns again, did the quest together, yeah, and we've uh, already got a little bit. And Corin joined us during the, um, the Scorpion nightmare. The shit show. <laughs> so, yeah, true, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Um, Anything else for me real quick? Uh, no, in which case, no, I kind of turn around, I say to everyone, okay, I'm set, and I look towards Corin, um, kind of like, you know, once again, Lucy very distrusting, um, and says, so who are you then? Um, well, I'm a, um, druid, I used to, I am from the Feywild, um, my, uh, I was part of a, uh, a group of uh knowledge druids and they uh they were attacked and uh i've been traveling uh ever since okay i kind of alushu looks over towards the others as sort of like a sign of reassurance um to see whether or not you know they trust her um and i'll use their judgment going on for now Okay. Um, um. Go ahead. I reckon um, it would be best to fish for um, information slowly um, by um, six feet like getting to know getting to know him by uh, maybe getting him drunk, inviting him to a, bar, a lot of barbecue, but but a, a fire pit, etc., etc. Who are you trying to do this to? Echo. Who are you? Hang on, yeah, well. I, Hang on. I think uh, she's talking about my character. <laughs> I got I got confused. Yep, I meant your character. Corin? I'm going to ask uh Um I feel like um Corin would be into like drinking. <laughs> well you, you did order um, a hard drink like uh Lucio did, so Yeah, mm. she's very she's very interested in um like trying like spicy drinks she's very, she's very um daring if that makes sense <laughs> okay um but she she usually drinks uh she usually drinks moderately okay um so you go join echo and pancog for some drinks and merriment uh rokog you get your or rokog rokax you get uh he the uh What'd you call him? Not bellhop. Whatever. The guy that works there because he does Concierge? all these jobs. Sure. Uh, brings out your food. Um, for it being a small little town and what wrapped up pretty or whipped up pretty quickly, it looks not too bad. Uh, it'll definitely fill your stomach. Um, very simple herbs and spices were used, but uh, he says uh, that we don't have much of cuisine here, but I hope this will warm your belly. And slides it over to you. Looks perfect, thank you. Enjoy. And he walks over. Whilst, um... Oh, sorry, go on. No, you go, you go. Okay, whilst Rokax is eating, I, uh, Lushu makes his way over to the back of the billboard to see what, um, jobs are currently there. Just kind of browses it for now. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, you saw the ones that he mentioned about the girl's lost cat, the, mm -hmm. the brewmaster yep. that is having a rot problem. Um, there's a bunch of miscellaneous help uh, that is asked for around the town in general uh, due to farming. Um, anyone that could help just unload, load stuff. Um, so just some muscle, um, unskilled work, just like, you know, picking up crops, um, working in, in uh, the small stables there, wrangling some pigs, uh, basic some farmer's work. Um, pretty much anything that you could think of as a small town could be using some help. It's probably an option. Okay, and the barman said there was um, a job needed to do in where there were people missing, and we have to find them. Yeah, from the town that okay. disappeared. That wasn't um, okay. that wasn't a job. That's more of a they're confused because uh, now they're short. Oh, wait, they were talking about the town. They were there. Uh, suddenly, people are short-handed because they okay. like they don't because know why there's no one crazy. around. They were at the festival. Yeah. Okay. 
I, I want to ask the bartender and see if he might know the name of our town that disappeared because that was an anomaly with the merchant mm. and I want to see if it continues. Uh, so you're going to ask him about Aldaria? Yes. Uh, good sir, I have uh, a question for you. Yeah. Shoot. I, I wanted to... I wanted to inquire about if you knew of a town called Aldaria. Never heard of it. He's cleaning the mug from Lucia's finished drink. Never heard of it. Mm. I, I then turn to Echo and I, and I say, well, it seems uh, we have an anomaly. Because not only does the Munchen not remember Aldaria, but neither does the barkeep. Um, let's see. Is there any um, spells I could use here to try and uh, get uh, <clears throat> to get them to get information out at all? I think it's more of a persuasion role, right? I know, but yeah, that would be it, wouldn't it? Are you trying persuasion. to... Okay, so Where persuasion would be like if you're trying to convince him of something. Insight skill would be used if you think oh, that insight. something has alter uh, alternative motives or maybe lying. Would it be investigation? Uh, investigation is like if you're looking for something, uh, but Probably. not necessarily from a person. Well, uh, I don't think that's true. I think it. Oops. Um, either way, I think it's intelligence. Yeah, I agree. Or it could it could be it could be argued that it could be charisma as well. Um, or could Pankog use her female charm to try and get see if she a can bit more? Try that. Mm. I mean, I could. Hopefully, it won't turn out like the barbarian. Yeah, you, <laughs> you can. Uh, you can use one of your uh, charisma skills if you want. Uh, what is there? You're not going to intimidate him. Persuasion and then uh, not bluff. Performance, persuasion, uh, deception. You're going to use deception on him? <laughs> oh, here's all your treats, Mama. Here you go. Let's see. So, what is it that we were wanting to do again, uh, Echo? We, we wanted information from the bar, the barman to see if he knew anything about the town that, did, that, that disappeared. So, it might be persuasion then. So, I'll make a persuasion roll. To see if you can convince him to tell you more? Yeah. Oh, tell me more. On. Okay. Not uh, bad, but... Um, mm -hmm. you roll good enough, but it, um, he kind of looks at you strangely. He's like, I don't know what else I can give you. I'm, I've never heard of that town. I'm not lying to you. Um... I would, I'd be more than happy to help you if I could, but I'm sorry, I, I'm not aware of that town. It must be from far beyond our, our reaches here in our little uh, Yalish here. No good. He's like, sorry, I can't I'd be more be help. I'd sitting at the table, um, kind of behind, a, I guess, Echo and... A, um, Pancog. Yeah, Pancog. And I'd probably just ask the... Is it the bartender? Mm -hmm. They are talking to, I guess. Whatever. General um, sure. I kind of, yeah, I kind of just ask him. You haven't heard of any, um, I guess, uh, villages burning down or anything like that, like a, a attacks on a village. You haven't heard anything like that at all. God no. Well, aside from the hmm. occasional goblin raid that happens down there every month or so, uh, but. Have, they usually don't uh, attack villages and towns. They usually just uh, go for the small, helpless caravans that are not heavily defended, if you know what I mean. So have you seen any strange activity, any any odd stranger that gave you some off vibe? Uh, he he kind of looks at uh, Rokax. <laughs> and, uh, Besides our unfortunate party. He, he doesn't say anything about it. He, he just kind of... Does a quick eye flicker. Says, mm, and he's, 
Not, not really. Uh, we don't really get many visitors. Like I say, it's usually people passing through and just picking up to resupply. Okay. I turn to Echo and I think, and I say to her very, so the barkeep can't hear us. I think that's all we're going to get out of this gentleman. I feel like we should maybe look into doing those odd jobs to see if we might get more information from the villagers. And I'm going to assume that uh, Rokax is kind of hearing me as well, because he's over there nodding his head. <laughs> Rokax is paying attention to what's going on. You said he is? Or yeah, I guess it? at that point, Lushu kind of walks back over towards the others. Okay. I guess, and I'll so... What, what happened then? I did, you hear, um, did you guys understand anything? Covered. Make sure it's covered by my bag. Okay, so it's getting a little bit later. Um, he's he's gonna say, uh, "Can I get get y'all anything else?" It's uh, we're about to do some last call. Uh, I need to get up a little bit earlier than usual to uh, prep stuff for the store and stuff. So if you y'all wouldn't mind, uh, do we, sh would you mind? You know, can I just put you on the honor system and shut down the store? Um, I could show you to your rooms where you need to pack up. Um, just you know. Try not to wreck anything. He 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 does a small smirk right there. And I'm fairly sure he's looking at our barbarian and our dragonborn, isn't he? Rokex is gonna he'll 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 follow him to his room. Call right. it a night. It's evening time, right? Yeah, yeah it's it's getting late. I'll do the same. You guys are yeah, you're same. pretty tired from walking, you know, twenty plus miles. Yes. I will I will go to my room for the night. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go to my room. Yeah. Okay. Um, he says, uh, we do a early morning uh, wake-up call if you have any desire. I can uh, come wake you up when I'm getting ready for work, or uh, you can just continue sleeping. Uh, what would you like? Luke, I I'd like the wake-up call, please. Me too. Me too. Get up on my Did we own. make a group discussion about... Um, what time we should uh, head out? I say we we rise fairly early. How about six six thirty a.m. Sounds perfect to me. <laughs> I just look up. Ha! <laughs> Nobody asked your opinion. <laughs> I'll take mine at eight. All right. Well, he's, his Owen's wake up, his wake up early, call was going to be around six or seven, so. I'm staying in till late. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's like, fair enough. You can stay in bed for now. And uh, he says, that's fair enough and happy to help. Yeah. And uh, once he says those words, though, uh, he kind of is taken aback. Uh, what he just said, uh, a little confused. He kind of shakes it off his head. Uh, it seems to be that. That more came out as a force of habit, as and less of that he actually really meant it. Like it looks like he probably meant saying those words in the past, happy to help, truthfully, but now it feels more of a force of habit, and it kind of it kind of shocked him that he said that. He's like, "Y'all have a good night." He walks down the stairs and goes back to sleep or cl finishes cleaning up the bar. And then, uh, he's gonna go upstairs to where his house is to sleep. Before the rest of us go upstairs, Lushu kind of stops everyone and, um, says, Have you noticed that everyone seems to be under some sort of magic? I kind of feel that way. Um, but I didn't sense it on that merchant when he... You know, said that he didn't remember the 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 town that we came from that was destroyed. So I don't, I'm not really sure what's uh, going on. Um, mm -hmm. But if you want to try to see if it's magic related, you're welcome. Could I could I do an Arcana check to see if I've heard of any type of spell like that? Where people can like forget. a mind control sort of spell. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Yeah, you, you can roll an Arcana check. Oh, God. Yeah, 
it's a decent roll. Um, no, no, it was so close to being a nat one. I was like, oh, oh. God, please. No, so, so um, you are aware that, the, yeah, there's obviously spells out there that people can uh, be put under the influence or under complete mind control. Um, but however, you wouldn't know if this is the same uh, kind of situation or what's going on with here. We, we need to figure out who put this spell on us and why. I think we need to figure out what kind of spell it is first because we, we still don't fully understand it. Yeah. And if we, <laughs> we go to understand it a bit better, maybe we could figure out what it is. Yeah. Um, good idea. Who's got maybe the, it's uh... magic, but it's not exactly, you know, a spell. Maybe it's, I don't know. I think there's maybe, a maybe like a maybe like a suggestion thing. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, maybe it could make them forget. Um, you know, like like, like a that would spell? explain. Maybe. That would explain why I couldn't detect magic. Um. Hmm. Maybe, but Lucy just kind of shakes his head off. Um, he says, I'm going to bed. It's too late for this. Yeah. <laughs> and kind of heads up the stairs and uh, goes to take his little rogue nap. Rogue nap. Yeah. <laughs> I also decide to go to bed. Yeah. Okay. I will too. Yeah, I I'm out. Okay. <laughs> well, you guys have a decent night's sleep. Um, much better than... Uh, you know, sleeping on outside the roads and stuff that you might have had it done if you didn't keep walking. Um, and you wake up. Well, uh, Echo Pancog or Pancog and uh, Corin, you wake up to uh, knocks on your doors. Rise and shine. Wake up call. And uh, Rokax, you said you were going to get up on your own. Yeah, Rokax uh, wakes up with the sun. Okay. Uh, so, so whatever, as that was whatever gonna time happen, they get up. Yeah, as that was going to happen, uh, he was about to come knock on your door, and uh, you were already uh, walking out. Perfect. Uh, I also have gotten ready. I've put on my my war paint makeup um, and headed out for the day. Your war paint makeup. <laughs> because of the noise made by the barman banging on the doors, it's woken me up also. So I'm also up yeah. half past six. <laughs> okay. Um, well, as I'm I passing, uh, as I'm passing Lucius' door, I bang on it as well. I say, "Get up!" <laughs> Scream back! No! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Just already up. All right. Um. Well, the uh. The bartender, uh, whatever, general store manager, um, he, he never, he didn't introduce himself. He says, uh, as you guys wake up, he's like, uh, so if you would like to take up on the opportunity of, uh, helping out the village, uh, I'd be more than grateful. Uh, just let me know, uh, if you do it and I'll, I'll get refund your, your funds and, uh, we'll get you a meal for tonight. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, my name is Bellroy, by the way. I'd like, Rokax would like to, he's going to grab Bellroy and take him to the side and ask him if he, uh, if there's anybody around that is, uh, uh, learned in, in dark arts or, or magic. If he knows any place like that where I could get some questions answered. In this town? Huh? You're asking Bellroy that? Yeah, I'm asking him if he knows any, you know, heard word of anybody that that uh, might be learned in, in magic and stuff that could answer some questions, either in this town or, or in the nearby areas or anything. He kind of ruffles his brow and uh, kind of trying to think. He says, well, as far as I'm aware, I don't know any of anyone that practices or knows much of help for the dark arts. I know we get uh, a strange little uh, merchant that pops up outside of town every now and then. Um, kind of gives pee -pee, uh, people the jitters and little weird feels, but um, we, he's never caused any trouble. 
Um, in terms of uh, people with malintent, no, that doesn't really seem to occur here in Yalish. We all we all look out for our, our, each other. Um, sorry, I can't be more help. Nobody that knows anything about magic or anything or practices magic. And say we're we're a small little farm village between um, m many uh, cities. And, uh, unfortunately, we. Uh, when does this creepy merchant usually come around, and where does he hang out? Uh, he seems to travel. His uh, his wagon seems to pack up into itself, and he can go wherever he wants. He shows up uh, a few times a month. Uh, thinking about it right now, we haven't seen him in a few weeks, so I I could expect him here in the next day or so. Uh, you'll you'll hear okay, he has a you. very distinct sounds when he's arriving. Uh, he sets up shop. He has a big old open sign that is lit behind with fire. And uh, you can just go in. He usually shows up uh, in, in an evening. Perfect. Thank you. Happy to help. Hmm. So I decide to uh, go and help the townspeople. I decide to do some of the farming. You're going to help around the farms? Like picking stuff? Yes. Sure. Yep. Okay. I think I'm gonna go and uh, try and find that cat. I think because as, as a rogue, you know, I'm used to being sneaky, and when it comes to a cat, you need to be sneaky, otherwise they're gonna. So okay, I reckon that'd be most suited for Lucio. Okay, so uh, Pancog, you, uh, y'all talk to Belroy to get this information. Belroy uh, points Pancog uh, down the street to see if uh, anyone could use any particular help for uh, farmers. Uh, Lucio. He points you to a house that is like right across and catty corner to the inn. Um, he says, you'll, you'll want to talk to Sally. Uh, she's a little girl that owns the cat. Um, her father, uh, kind of a, a gruff gentleman, but, uh, you know, he, he wants to see his daughter happy. So you might want to go talk to them and uh, get this cat. But I, I'll tell you. That sign has been up there probably the longest out of any of the, uh, the help signs. Like, no one can catch that cat. Okay. That cat is wily. It's like, it'd probably okay. be wise to have more than one of you. Um, when attempt... Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, Panko. Can, can, can I get with her um, to, uh, to help with the cat? Yeah, yeah, you can go with her. Yeah. So, uh, you all walk outside. Uh, the city is uh, slowly starting to come alive. Uh, more and more people are getting up for uh, their early morning chores. It's a little earlier than uh, they're used to, but they got to do what they got to do with the, the light they have. Um, so, where uh, where's Echo and uh, Rokax going? Uh, Rokax um, is going to... Um... He's gonna go out into uh, the forest, and he's more. He's he wants to hunt. Okay. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, Belroy uh, mentions um, that that cat uh, quest, whatever, um, has a, has a higher price on it just because it's been up there for so long. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, the last one you said, which was. Um, I believe uh, clearing, clearing the forest or out of village of um, people with mal um, ill intent or, or clearing a town of people with ill intent. Oh no, the town doesn't have any of those. Oh, uh, I thought you. Sorry, I thought you meant um, that the borders are patrols, so. And oh. you need his help with that. Oh, um, no, no, they don't need. Uh, they don't have any patrols or anything. They they're just uh, basic, you know, clean up around the town, make sure things are running. Um, okay, nothing too I've got crazy. Um, it's all it's all good. In which case, um, maintenance and uh, I'll, I'll go for that one then. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you could probably be helping uh, people unload some. Uh, deliveries that are coming into the city or load them up so they can go sell them uh, to other towns as well. 
Um, let's see. Okay, awesome. awesome. Um, Corin mentioned that you might want to... You were going to look for the blacksmith before, too, right? Did you still want to look for her? Uh, the person who had the cat? No, uh, I thought you said you were going to look for, like, a, a blacksmith in the morning. Or, was it, what her name? Charcy? Is that the name I gave her? Um, um, because... I think I said something about the blacksmith earlier, but you said that I couldn't... Oh, right. I didn't have anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right, because I said, um... He would tell general store stuff if you were looking for more special. Anyone was looking for anything specialty, you'd go talk to Charcy. That's right. Okay. Okay, on the same page. Um, so you're all helping around the town. Uh, Rokax, you're you said you're just gonna go hunt something. Yeah, he's gonna go. He's gonna go out in the woods and and hunt. Hopefully, bring back some pelts or something. See if you can. Bear. Uh, he's looking for bear. See if you're gonna bring something in. Uh, Maybe help the inn out, give him some foods. Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, well, it's mostly plains around, so hunt, finding a bear is gonna be difficult. Well, uh, fine. Um, so they'll, they'll, there'll probably uh, like some deer. Deer, yeah. Yeah. I'll, hear, I'll hunt deer. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so if you can. Rokax likes a likes a challenge, so he was looking for something vicious. Right. No, I understand. So... Uh, yeah, <laughs> not so much around here, actually. The only vicious things that you would know about here would, like uh, Belroy mentioned, would be any sort of goblin raids and stuff that are happening. But, you know, you'd have to go outside of town where defenses couldn't come uh, to assist right away. They want, they're a hit and run kind of thing. Okay. Well, crap, you guys broke up. I was not expecting that. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Um... Lucius is going to look for this cat. Um, after... Yeah, I'd like to help with the cat as well. You're going to help with the cat? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Echo, you're doing a good job uh, helping people out, uh, load some stuff up. Uh, Pancog. Okay, cool. You're a, you're have, you don't go to the fields or anything to uh, help with crops or anything. You're more... Uh, they've already got most of the crops in. You're actually sitting there scrubbing them clean, making sure uh, they're free of worms and stuff. You're under a, a shaded enclave, to, uh, and you're just kind of helping out uh, the workers there, uh, making sure all the produce and stuff is good for uh, selling uh, later in the afternoon and uh, probably loading up for tomorrow. Um, let's see. Lushu and Corin. Uh, go and talk to the what are her, Sally? Fuck! Now I gotta voice a kid. All right. Um, you go talk to little girl named Sally. Um, as oh shit, I forgot something. Backtrack. We're, we're backtracking a little bit before you guys actually go off and do your jobs. You are. Uh, like, as you're walking out of the inn, you are uh, encountered by a very beautiful girl, uh, slender, she looks maybe mid-20s, 24, not much lo older than that, uh, shorter blonde hair. And uh, she sees you walking out of the inn. She looks very happy. And uh, she's, she's uh, kind of prancing her way over to uh, the inn. And uh, as she sees you guys walk out, uh, she kind of stops and has a look of bewilderment, bewilderment on her. And is like, "We don't get many people in this amount of group visiting." Wow, what the fuck was that sound effect? <laughs> You're right, Wally. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Is that, is that better? Is that better? Okay. Okay. It was still on. Hello. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. What the fuck? Alvin. Why? What? Oh my Why is the pitch thing on? That's fucked up. All right, how's that? Is that any better? Oh my god, oh my god. that's horrible. Um, she's like, "You're new here. Who are you?" She, she asked you guys. She like unusually happy. Like, um, she's weirdly not, happy. She's not unusually happy. She just seems like a very <clears throat> upbeat person. Um, you can, okay. if, as as you observe her, you can act, you look, you can actually see that she already has smile lines on her eyes, and she's not that old yet. But she 
is in general a very happy person. She smiles a lot. Um, her her glow can like exude to those around her. What are you guys doing here? Who are you? Wait, does that mean uh, being around her because she's so happy and because she just radiates happiness? Does uh, can I be a cheeky to um, request a inspiration point for each of us because of her happiness? Oh God. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> you did nothing to deserve it's like, that. It's like a buff. It's like a buff. She's you know? a, she's no, just she's not a buff. Happy. If, you go, if you go near her, she just gives you like. She's just a ray of sunshine. <laughs> she doesn't give you a buff. Exactly. Exactly. It's like a natural buff. She's, she's not. Like, she's not know? a goddess or of anything. <laughs> you walk into the river Styx, you become immortal. You know, you just go near her. She just makes you happy and inspired. You know. You, you don't ask, you don't get, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Call it creativity hey, hey, if you want. If you're feeling inspired, that's on you. <laughs> uh, actually, I still got, I've, I've actually still got an inspiration point. You do? Now that I see. Mm -hmm. I do, I forgot about that. Screw you guys, I got mine. <laughs> so none of you have answered her questions at all. Right. It's, um... Wait, what's the question? It was who are we? Yeah, what, who are you and what are you doing here? Who, well, um, my name is Echo, um, we're here to, uh, well, basically, we're here to fight a fight. Uh, you might want to push the top. There you go. The, yep, the, yep. <laughs> um, we're trying to unravel a whole load of, um, mysteries and secrets that have just happened. One, we need to figure out what happened to this town, and, um, Little two, we need to figure out what happened with everything else um, that has been going on recently. Uh, she responds like, "Well, that sounds fun, but nothing's happened to this town. At least not that I know." Oh of. no, not this town. We headed from a different town, and a uh, it got attacked, and oh, no oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, silly me. Uh, she starts cracking up at herself. It's like, sometimes I, I, I forget. Uh, but my head goes into these weird spaces. But um, have you have you talked to Belroy? Um, yes. Oh, of course, of course you did. You just walked out of the inn. Oh, silly me. It's, I, I haven't had uh my morning coffee yet. It's like I was just actually gonna go in to talk to them. I'm Belsony, by the way. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. Did you guys have a good night stay at the inn? Did Belroy take care of you? Tell me he took care of you. He did. Good. He should. He's a great man. <laughs> right, there we go. Right. Oh, cool. good. Thank you. Uh, Rokex is going to move on to hunting. Okay. Uh, as you walk away, she kind of looks at you and she's like, He's pretty quiet, huh? Just gonna kind of look at her. <laughs> oh, I, I, didn't mean any, I didn't mean any offense by that. It's just, you know, there's different. There's all just sorts nodding. of different kinds of people in this world. Um, oh God, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's been a really, really long day. Um, but I completely fall in at the first hurdle of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, um, my memory can be very, very. Very bad, and I, uh, yeah, just listen to my friends and not me at the moment. Fair enough. Look up, say, so, My name's Lucio, and I'm looking for a cat, and I run off towards Sally <laughs> to try and find this little girl's cat. Okay, he's uh, <laughs> I say, My name's Corin. Um, if you'll excuse me. I have to go with the uh, Lushu to uh, hunt for this cat. Okay. And uh, I bid her farewell. Okay, she shouts off to you guys and is like, Oh, well, good luck. That cat, no one seems to catch that thing. I hope you catch him. <laughs> I, I uh, tell her thanks as I'm going after Lushu. Okay. And she's like, wow. You guys, wait, this is the most interesting stuff thing that we've I'm had in this fun. town in long as I can remember. I'm glad you guys showed up. I'm Belsony. If you need anything, come talk to me. I'm just having fun with all the vegetables on the farm. Uh, this is before all that happened. We had, we had a backtrack. So now you guys are going to be going to your uh, jobs. 
if uh, you're, you're done talking to Belthony. Yes. Okay. Well, she's gonna she's gonna run into the inn. Uh, she's gonna skip away, joyfully. Uh, she skips away and says, "Elroy!" Opens the door and shuts it behind her. And then you just hear muffled speaking. Blah 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 blah. Now you guys are off doing your particular jobs that you were looking for. Um, Rokax, you come back with a pretty good hunt. Uh, you you got three deer. In the span of a few hours, there was a, a couple, uh, there, there was a, a little herd there. Um, you have a bow and arrow, right? Nope, I got hand axes. I got, uh, I have, uh... You hunt deer with hand axe, that's impressive. Yeah, buddy. All right. Hand axes, warhammer, and daggers. Okay, um, do you I skin them or anything at all? Too, so. Um... Probably not. Okex is quite massive, so he would have he would have tied him up and dragged him back. Just dragging him back. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you got a you got a decent haul. Um. As as you're coming back into town, uh, Pancog is finishing up, and uh, so is Echo. They're gonna be, um, looking around for any other sort of jobs. And uh, Lushu and Corin come running up to the middle of the square, and you guys are all there, and they're out of breath. And obviously <laughs> exasperated, they're like, this, L Lushu, you can, all right, I'm just going to tell you guys what happened, and you guys can RP it out. This cat seems unreal. Like, it, one minute, it's somewhere, and you think you're going to get it, and the next minute, it's gone, and it has been evading your guys' grasp all day long. You're obviously getting frustrated with this cat. And uh, you see the rest of the party member here. And if you want this kind of a payout, you're obviously going to need more help. Oh, oh, we just uh, lost someone. We lost Echo. Hang on one second. Yep. Oh, oh, oh I We're think she's, she's coming good? back. Yeah, I don't I... see her name. I thought I got kicked out there. I was like, hopefully, it, down. hopefully it re arranges everyone. <laughs> Oh no! No. Please rearrange no. people. It did. I have an echo spot. It had to be today, and it all... the day where everything goes wrong. We don't see your uh, webcam either. Usually, it fixes when the webcam kicks on. Oh, I do. Um, should automatically come on, but uh, it's... Oh, there we go. Put back. Oh, no. thank God. Be good. All right, you you all temporarily switched bodies and psyches, and now you're all back. That, that's not canon. That's just goofiness. What? Can I just fill in the gap from uh, where I got kicked for a second? Um, uh, where's the uh, relevance between the cat and changing bodies? Um, oh no, the changing bodies thing was what? just a joke because all your portraits and stuff shifted when you disconnected. Right, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I was like, because you sounded so serious. I was like, um... <laughs> no, um, but Corin and Lucio show up, and uh, they're obviously running out of breath and uh, patience on the stupid cat. You guys can RP that if I you want. I say, um, this cat is really hard to catch, and uh, it's just. I I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like it's teleporting places. It's been evading us all day. And we are really getting frustrated and tired. And we just need more help to try to catch this cat. And then she was just bent over. <sighs> cat. Fast. He's <sighs> <laughs> just absolutely knackered by this point. Need. Assistance. Um, I, I, looks I, up at the others. Hold, before that, or as you're saying that, um, little Sally comes bounding up to you guys. Like, did you catch Snookums? Did you get him? Please tell me you got him. No, nothing. Uh, I'll I'm so happy. Um, I'll turn around to the little girl and I'll say. We haven't caught him yet, but we're going to. 
Being a whore on TV. I miss him so much. She's like five six. She she's obviously oh, uh, distraught so, yeah, that her cat has uh, gotten away and can't catch and no one seems to be able to catch him. Um, I, um, I turn towards Sally quickly and ask her where is uh, where is your father, Sally? Can we speak to him? Maybe the dad can give us more information on the cat. Um, the demon cat from hell, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> He's that, probably yeah, inside one. drinking his special juice. Oh no! Oh god! Um, oh, there you go. Is is there an? Do you have any like um, adult friends that you you go to um, to stay at sometimes? Someone you can trust um, that you can stay with? Um, let's see. Well, it's a small town. Everyone knows who she is. So, she, since she's grown up in the small town. She wouldn't. She hasn't necessarily felt unsafe being around. She's just freely run around town for her whole life. I'm trying to find out a way to explain that as a five year old. She she just kind of looks at you and blinks a couple of times, uh, just kind of confused as to what you're actually asking. It's like, well, I'm not supposed to take candy from strangers, so you don't have any candy, do you? No, and you are very right. You are not meant to take candy from strangers. That is very good. And you are not meant to talk to strangers at all. But I don't feel comfortable leaving you here like this. I mean, you got to let us help somehow. Oh, don't worry. I'm just going to go play in the rocks over there. <laughs> Playing in the rocks. Are you sure that's safe? But does your mom know that you're playing in the rocks with your cats? Uh, this, is, this is the moment where she's like, I don't have a mom. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like... <laughs> Mommy hasn't come back. Oh, oh. oh um, uh, <laughs> Yep. Oh, come back from where? Um. Hmm. How is she going to explain this? <laughs> I don't know. She, she, I am. I never. I don't know m my mom. She, she, she disappeared when when I was when I was baby. Oh my, that's real sad. I feel bad now, Echo. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Um, yeah. um, uh, can I just really talk out a character good. real quick? Uh, I don't. I don't. Um, I... I've got a heavy feeling it's not it, but plot twist, the cat's the mum. Mm. Right. Once we just spoil the cat, once we just spoil that mission there, just figured it out that early. Yeah. <laughs> You're not that lucky. Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> you were being quiet. I was thinking, oh, wait, have, like, I, have I got it? Like, if that was going to happen, you'd think the cat would try to go to her daughter, right? Yeah. Some sort of magic. Do a persuasion mm -hmm. roll to persuade her to wait for a couple hours in uh, the the room that I'm renting from the inn, uh, as well as providing a meal. Oh, you you're in for the little girl. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You don't have to. Ro I, you don't I have to roll for very, that. Very disturbed and like. Yeah, very you... concerned face, and I'm like, mm, I'll be nice. Nah, you don't have to roll for that. Um. Oh, you want me to go to Bell Royce? <laughs> yeah, Bell. I just yeah. saw Belsony go in there too. She, she likes playing games. And that she kind of well, scuttles off, singing her own little jingle songs about butterflies and daisies landing on her nose. And uh, now she she walks in. <laughs> Sally's here. You got any treats? And shuts the door. Whilst they're in there, um, I'm going to go ahead and head for their house um, to try and get the attention of the dad and see if I can get a conversation out of him, depending on how plastered he is. <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully try and get some more information about this cat. I, I feel like I'm going to go with him after we've made sure she's inside. Uh, to make sure he doesn't fail any intimidation rolls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. He's not very intimidating by himself. 
I I'm gonna, wonder I'm gonna if stand I, guard outside. I wonder uh, if my character can be intimidating. I don't know. <laughs> depends on your charisma score. <laughs> I mean, everyone, <laughs> technically, everyone can be intimidating. It's just you oh, have more of yeah, a chance to can. be, depending on your role and your scores. So, um, you walk in to, uh, this Sally's house. Rokax, um, did you drop off your, um, your deer? Yeah, Rokax, uh, he, he, uh, he figured that if anybody might need it, it would be Belroy. So mm -hmm. he, uh, offered to trade, um, trade what he, uh, his hunt for room and board. Okay, um... Are you doing that now? He'll be, he'll be... Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, so as I as I brought it back, I left it on the porch and and offered uh, or asked him if he would uh, take it in place of payment for room and board. Okay, uh, Belroy's not there right now. Um, uh, Belthony is with Sally. She's busy entertaining her. Uh, but Belroy, you don't know where he's at right now. But you you can leave those there if you want. You know, no one's gonna come steal okay. him. Um, you can just tell Belthony that, hey, you, you brought some stuff. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. That works. Um, so... I mean, then, then, I, then I suppose he would, uh, he would, uh, replenish after his, his hunt and go see how it goes with the cat. Okay. Um, so your full party is together. You're gonna go talk to Sally's dad. Uh... Who's who's knocking the door or whatever? I will. Knock on the door? Okay. And I, and I decide to just go with the good old police bang for the knocking. Police bang? You're gonna have to explain that. Oh, okay. Got it. All right. Really loud. It's like, um... Open up, FBI. <laughs> God! That's a little too much. Hold on. I'm, I'm coming. Just wait and take a nap. What? Oh, and then the, the sun kind of gets in his eyes. What do you want? We'd like to have a small chat with you, sir, inside. What, what can I do for you? Just, what is it? I was taking a nap. I, I look over to Lushu and I kind of nudge him to take the, the lead now. <laughs> I look the... Uh, Lushu looks Bad up and down. choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> God damn it, why would you do this? <laughs> He's going to start feeling him up. Man. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> um, um, no, so... Um, how drunk is he? Um, he he's coherent. He's coherent. Okay. Um, he's mostly like he was sleeping it off, so he, it's it, he he's sleeping it off, but he's still a little buzzed. Okay. Drunk. Um. So I I just try to ask him. Lucy says, "So this cat of yours, what else can you tell me about it?" He. Can gets kind of a stern look and he's like oh, that that fucking cat just i hate that cat i hate that cat so much it needs to just go away <laughs> um causes um, nothing but can trouble I, can i roll a persuasion check to basically say that i uh, we are going to find it like, trust us sort of thing yeah, well, you don't need to convince him or anything. Um, oh, okay. He he's more upset about a. He's fucking ever since I got that cat, nothing but bad has happened, and now it's going away. And poor Sally's just heartbroken over this cat. But you know what? Part of me's glad it's gone. I'd like you to elaborate, sir, on what bad things happen around this cat. Well, things go missing. You know, stuff flies off the shelves. Just 
But most people in the town just think it's just rotten superstition. But I know it's that cat. That cat. Bad omen. I should just go away. Sally will get over him eventually. Where did you get the cat? She, she just found it one day. She was out playing in the fields and she showed up. Dad, Daddy, I found a cat. This is, uh, that's fine. Just fine. And then I had a cat. No idea where it came from. She just found him. Now I have a damn curved cat. <laughs> Correction. Had. <laughs> I had. That's in character, by the way. He's talking to yeah. him. He it's he kind he kind of nods in your direction and is like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how um, how long did you have the cat um, before he he went missing on the outside? Because you said that you had him for a while, and uh, he would uh, appear and disappear in places within the home. But this time he's disappeared out, outside of the home and hasn't come back. Oh, he was always an uh, an outside cat. Um. No, uh, he he'd disappear for a couple of days, but he'd always come back. But uh He's been gone for a good seven Okay, the two I don't know. Alright, I had about he looks over. He looks over to his uh stack of booze bottles and starts counting them. Maybe three months. He's been missing. That's wow, how he keeps track of time is how much booze months. he's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> three months, so three months. How and much? Is there anything that's uh, sorry? <laughs> go ahead. Tanka, go ahead. Uh, I said I was just going to ask him, well, how much do you drink in just a day? In a day? You asking him? Yes. I don't know. Enough to help me sleep. <laughs> Go ahead, Echo. <laughs> Is that all you? You guys have for him? Anything? That's what I was going to say. Was there anything in particular that might have spooked the cat to run away that day? Oh, uh, you're asking him to remember like three months ago? Um, I mean, if it was a, say for example, with animals, they could be very sensitive to like sounds or ex explosions or something or other. If it was um, an incident that caused some form of trauma to the cat, it may be just like r run. <laughs> he kind of tilts his head back and thinks for a moment. No, it's just a cat. It's what they do. Right? right? Is that what cats do? Mm -hmm. They just run off right. and eat rabbits. They eat rabbits. I don't, cat. I don't know. You just. He goes and does his thing, and sometimes he brings me a dead bird or a dead mouse, and I shoo him away. But he, he's always come back. Hmm. Oh, that is very strange. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Do, does anyone else have any other questions that might help, you know, uncover this? Because. Sure. I think this we need to find the cat and figure out its origins. Oh, um, I'm going to ask this because I am um, <clears throat> not sure if it was mentioned or if I've just forgotten. What's the cat's name? Oh, fuck. If the cat has a name. Um, I don't think we've heard its name. I think Vesa said Sally called it Snookums. Yes, thank you. I totally oh, remember okay, that Snookums. I called him that. Well, there you go. Okay, Snookums. Oh, okay. okay, then. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Um, I thought it was odd, so it's hang on. Um, who's um the druid? Oh, uh, me, Corin. Yeah, um, maybe if we were to 
find it, you could try talking to it. Like, That's right, what I was the, Have you got the talking to I, animal skill yet? I also have Beast Bond. Ah. Uh, I think Beast Bond is only but for your creature, isn't it? No, it's for any creature. Let me see. Uh, I establish a telepathic link with one beast you touch that is friendly to you or charmed by you. Oh, okay. So there's a couple I'm caveats there. Pair. Okay. Uh, spell fails the beast intelligence is four or higher. Okay. Did you say beast is on fire? <laughs> if it fails? Uh, uh, is that what you said? Intelligence score or fails. score or higher? Intelligence is four or higher. Oh, okay. <laughs> it gets set on fire. Fails, hey, you're gonna join? You're gonna be my <laughs> friend or I light you on fire? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's messed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys, you're done talking with Sally's dad. I'm not giving him a name. Um. Do you know where your daughter currently is? Isn't she with us? No. We we put she her went... in the uh, the inn. Yeah. Yeah. She's having oh. a meal at um, the inn. Yeah, she, she's usually just Bethany. around town. Uh, usually playing with Bethany or uh, some of the other kids nearby. She, you know, she she knows where she, she needs to stay within city limits, but uh, the, the town, we're, we look out for each other. She, everyone has eyes on people. I imagine the town is pretty, pretty safe generally, so kids mm -hmm. run around pretty freely. Yeah, it's pretty tight-knit. Okay. Uh, when and what was it? Sorry. No, go ahead, Echo. When and what was the last serious incident at this town? And what was it? Um, just to get out the energy of this town. Uh, let's see. I don't know how long ago. It was a while. We just had some renegade banded people come in and try to start a ruckus but they, they left pretty soon once they realized that you know they they couldn't stand up to a few hundred townsfolk <laughs> and he, he kind of chuckles to himself he's like we don't we don't really have that many uh big city problems here we, we look out for each other so that being that you're a tight committee you would have thought that you would have found the cat by now so that makes it even the stranger Well, except that the cat teleports, and even Lucio and his, with his cat-like reflexes, can't get it. Sure, his cat-like reflexes. Mm -hmm. Yo, that backflip, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think I've forgotten about that awesome backflip over that cart, my dudes. Right. <laughs> simple merchant. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I say we go lay a trap and we try to use some animal animal handling and try to get a hold on this cat because it obviously means something. Well, you being the like the the hunter sort of guy, the barbarian, but you go hunting quite a lot. Maybe it's best you set the trap because you'll know best what to do. Let's go set a trap. Where'd you guys hey. find him? Um, as I look over to Corin, so like a, a defeated look has said everywhere because he kept teleporting. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. We saw it on a roof. We, we, <laughs> we saw it on the edge of a well. We've seen it on top of a windowsill. We have seen it in front of us, mocking us. Still manages to get away. Oh, we'll try to grab it and it'll just disappear. Should like it was never there. Sally anti transport. <laughs> Should we ask Sally to see what type of food the cat prefers? And see if we can lure it out with some some tasty food. Some tasty food. So go food. to the inn and see Sally, and then maybe get some food from the inn to take out. Yes. Yeah, okay. What if we got some catnip? <laughs> yeah, catnip only usually works if it's dried. Maybe. Yeah. Otherwise, it's. Does the general store inside the inn have dried catnip? Dried <laughs> catnip. I don't think catnip exists yes. in this world. <laughs> Probably not, sadly. 
Unless it's for catnip tea, I'm assuming. So that's a that's an actual thing. It is. Basif, I think you've muted yourself. No, I'm not. Um, I have, I wasn't talking. Okay, cool. Never mind. Um. <clears throat> well, that sucks. Oh, it's broken. I can't do it. I can't have a uh, line of sight properly. That's unfortunate. Um, okay. Can you guys actually see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see the map. Yeah, town center five, and all five of us are like together. Okay, you can see it. Okay. And I can see the line of sight stuff. Yeah, bits of blacked out, etc. Yeah. Yeah, mine was completely blacked out. That's unfortunate. Um. Okay. So that that's the town. Uh, crap. It's not showing properly. Why isn't it showing? Hold on. Well, that's annoying. The, uh... Fantasy Grounds thing isn't loading properly. Or did I... Be dumb and accidentally close it. Oh crap. Uh fantasy grounds may have just crashed. That would be a problem. Oh no. Be the first time, unfortunately. I know. Oh, okay, just that version crashed, I think. Need to get rid of my fender on my bike. Oh, you're gonna a fender eliminator? Nice. <clears throat> oh, did you hear me? Yeah. I thought my mic was muted. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it just okay, came there in we Amazon, go. so I'm. Okay. Um. Now I gotta. So you guys can see the line of sight and stuff. That's good. Unfortunately, I gotta reset up this yeah. garbage just, because. Just line of sight. Actually, you guys don't really even need to see that that much. Um, okay, so uh, this is the town. You guys are all set up. Um, you're going to be trying to set up some uh, traps and stuff. The line of sight is not working for me. It shows like it's completely dark. I don't know why. I see my line of sight. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I can see mine, yeah. That's weird. Now I can see everything. Oh, now I can see it. Um, quick. Ooh. Quick. Look where the enemies are. Print screen. Print screen. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I, there's no enemies on that screen. <laughs> oh. Looks like all the line of sight stuff just disappeared. That's fun. Whatever. I don't care. No, nope, they're there. I just saw them. I just don't know why they're not showing up. Enable line of sight. Go away, bug. I don't know. The line of sight is acting very strange uh, for me. I can't actually see your guys' line of sight um, like normal. Anyway. Did you try clicking on a character? Yeah, I'm, I'm clicking on all your guys' characters and it doesn't seem to be oh. doing anything weird or, uh, that I need. Because normally it shows and, the yeah. um, the lines and stuff of what you can see, but it's either completely black or not. I don't know. Layers. Snap grid. Oh, crap. Pushing buttons. Don't know. All right, whatever. We'll just roll with it. Um, so as you guys exit, um, so because you went to Bellroy, you said, because you were going to go talk to Sally. Yes, we wanted to talk to Sally to see if there was anything to appease this apparent demon cat. Okay. Um, she just tells you, he's like, 
She really likes meats. Fresh meats. I just got some fresh venison. We can go grab some of that. Okay. Um, so you guys can go ahead and... there's some fish we can get? I mean, you'd have to either go fish it or you'd have to buy it. But like uh, Rokak yeah. said, there, there's a... You have a bunch of venison out, out front. Um, as we could use that. Oops, doesn't look right. Let's see. True, and it's free because we, because uh, Rokex killed the thing. True. View. There we go. Um, so you guys, uh, go chop up some venison, I guess, to try to lay some traps. And uh, as you walk outside the uh tavern or whatever the inn uh you see a bunch of gnomes walking in town uh they, they have some face paint um some black and white face paint and uh they're they're setting up right outside the inn uh to to the south of you guys there and uh they look kind of be begrudged kind of angry boys their entire face and like and hair and head is all covered in this face paint. And they're just kind of setting up. Uh, looks like a bunch of instruments. And uh, they're going to be trying to move it into the, the inn. These, this doesn't, they don't match the description of that merchant that uh, Thelroy had told us about, it. do they? No. No, these are, these are, uh, okay. they're just gnomes. Or so. Just yeah. some gnomes. Yep. I say for the time being, we ignore them and go set the yeah. trap for the small, small demon hell. Okay. Yeah, stop them from regressing. Um, as, as you guys walk oh. out, uh, they just assume that you're there to help them move into the inn. And, uh, that... I guess you call him the leader one, it says in a, his best gnomish gruff voice. is like, you, you help us. We got to load this in. I have a price. I have a price. It's like, what do you mean you have a price? Well, I need a fucking gnome voice. God damn it. Eight gnomes. <laughs> This is gonna hurt your ears. What are they moving exactly? Uh, they're moving all their instruments inside. It's like, you must help us! Instruments? Yeah, a bunch of instruments. In, like, like you can play music. Yeah. They're a band. <clears throat> and, uh, they're, they're making their way through. They're trying to... It's like, help us load this in here. We need... What do I look like, a roadie? <laughs> What's... No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Do you not know who we are? <laughs> Uncultured swine. We are the up and coming new wave band. We call it Hefty Mineral. <laughs> and uh, Mineral, I like that. <laughs> and uh, they have a bunch of drums and very <laughs> unique lutes. And uh, one of them starts drumming, <laughs> just to kind of show off. He's like, now. We're just looking, where can we hire some mercenaries? Now that I can help you with. Ah. He looks you up and down. You look like something we could use. I tell you what. I don't think he could really look me down. He would just be looking up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, so he sees that, uh, <laughs> Okay, um, he says, Yes, yes, you should, you should do just fine. Listen, there's a cave about a couple miles yonder that we passed that would make a totally sick venue. <laughs> but it is, there's, there, an, an owl bear lives in there and it needs to be cleared out. 
so we can have oh, a total oh, yeah. awesomeness music show. This side of the Delta. We will pay you each 30 gold pieces to go clear this owl bear. What say you? Lucia just perks straight up. Hell yeah! Just think Consider about it album. done. Go, How yeah. much is the cat worth? How much is the cat worth? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Um, it hasn't been posted yet. Uh, it's, all you know is that it's been up there for a while, and as far as you know, the prices keeps going up. Who's paying this bounty for this damn cat? <laughs> as far as you know, you, it would be uh, Sally's dad. <laughs> Hey, how's well, he, he doesn't. He doesn't. He drinks it all away. Yeah. He drinks it all away, and he doesn't <laughs> even want the cat. Why would he be offering to pay money for it? Well, for the sake of Sally, I think. He did but, say that. Yeah. But he you said looking... she'll get over it. He, like, he, he does I mean, say no, that he, right. he wants to keep his daughter happy. <laughs> but mm. he said, okay. All right. <laughs> I'll take it for what it is. To me, it sounds like it got spooked and run off, uh, 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 transported away. In, in my opinion, it seems like the, the cat's been missing for three months. It's been a problem for three months. I'm pretty sure one more day won't be a problem. I say we start looking for it tomorrow because that's when the shady merch is supposed to arrive. All right, so we should all have right. one night here where we go and try to clear the cave, make some gold. Stay at the inn, get ready to get the cat in the morning, and then meet the merch, uh, shady merchant when he arrives. Yeah. Can one of us at least set Three. up the, the meat traps? Yeah, um, I think Rokak is going to do that because he's traps. the hunter. <laughs> meat traps. Sure, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Can I find the gutter and not mean it like that? The meat traps. I love I it. Not... Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're definitely using, all adults here. I'm using that forever now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's gonna make its way into my vocabulary, I can guarantee it. <laughs> Meat traps. I'll write it along with my um, notes, my D&D notes. <laughs> <laughs> should I, notes. should I be rolling like a, a, what would it be, survival maybe? To lay a trap? <clears throat> um, actually, um, doesn't... I thought one of you in your inventory, you actually had animal traps. My fantasy Maybe. ground just crashed. Uh oh. Uh, Pancog, do you have traps? Someone I could have swore has traps. Hang on, let, let me check my D&D Beyond because I think it might be me. Uh, my yeah, thing's um, frozen, so I can't see what I've got in fantasy at the moment. Bear with me. Inventory. Let me see. I'm not seeing any traps on your cereal. Is the trap mine? Yeah, I don't have one. I could have swore someone had a trap. I've got I've got some stuff to help make a trap. I've got um, a load of string. I've got rope. Yeah. Um, maybe some like stick sort of things you can collect in the um, in the woods, I guess. Um, I've got a, a bag of a thousand ball bearings. I don't know if that could be... I'm gonna make a grenade. Useful? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I could, okay, maybe. If that's what it takes, my dude. I might be misunderstanding. I thought what would I, what would... Oh, I've also got a bell. Um, seeing as we're setting the trap, um, we are leaving the trap to go and fight the owlbear. So, because I've got a bell, um, I could give that to Rokax as like an alert. So like, if we do hear it, we know to get there as soon as possible. So well, I think we'll be a little ways away. I wouldn't. Uh, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want somebody else to to uh, collect the bounty. You know, come across it no, yeah, and right. let the cat out or anything like that. But what, what, so, do I need to buy anything to make this trap, or can we use it with no, things I'll, that I'll we have? No, I'll say that you guys can make it Such with things you have. Such as rope and boxes. Okay. Yeah. So should I roll a survival? I have a knife. I have leather. Sure. Go ahead and roll survival. See <laughs> how good. well Holy traps you make. Holy water. Uh, I suppose I suppose it would be survival, which would be wisdom. Yeah. Oops. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Bam. Uh, that's you... that's not bad. I'd yeah. say that's a pretty decent trap I just made. Oh, you made one. I thought you were making a group. 
Um, I was going to say you made uh, four decent traps. Cool. Can I also help him make traps? Sure. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, survival. Okay, uh, you have two more decent traps. <laughs> cool. Uh, so essentially, I ju I'm just... Significantly better than mine, though. Well, I was going to say you guys were helping each other just make some traps, so you made six instead of four, and they're all pretty good. Cool. They're not just, you know, cardboard boxes with, you know, a stick. And a bell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys make some chaps? Or chaps? Nice. Traps. Only the assless, assless ones. Assless ones. The assless chaps. Okay, um, so are you guys going to set those up now, or what are you doing? Yeah, that's what we just did. Okay. We just set those up and then we're off to kill the owl bear. Okay. Uh, um, if, if I have to roll at all, basically, can you roll for me at the moment? Because I'm trying to get back into fantasy grounds. It keeps saying authorization failed, client username already in use. Oh, here. I'll kick you. Mm, that's because you're technically still in the game. Yeah. I just kicked you from oh, the game um, so you, you can join. Like, remove me? Oh, acquiring file list. Okay, go there ahead. You go. Sorry. I got Carry you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if there's a marker I can do. My, uh, oh, my fantasy grounds is freezing because you're joining. Sorry. It's all good. Um, so what we can do when this comes back <clears throat> is, uh, we can look up a shape or something. And, uh, you guys can tell me where you want to lay the traps. Are you going to lay those now and then go kill the owl over there? I thought you were worried that someone else would claim the reward. Well, that's why we're not putting a bell on there. Gotcha. Um. Okay. Let's. Is it good now? Can't tell. All right. Let's go find an image. I don't know. Fucking. A circle. Or any. Let's see if I can just find a circle image. There we go. Here. Here's some traps. Um, so you guys have your map. Where would you want your traps to be? I said you have six, right? I thought you said five. No, uh, Rokax made um, four and then you added two more. Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, okay, so, I'm back in, but I can't see the map yet. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> um, you might have to open it up in your um, images and maps tab uh, manually. Um, so you guys got to tell me where you're going to lay those traps. Yep, I got it. Oh, did we lose some people? Oh, that's... <laughs> uh, I don't know where miscreation is. And uh, Rokax has uh, stepped away. She's there. It's in Discord. Her cam's there, but on your stream, it's not. Uh, my Discord, she's not even here. On mine. Really? Yep. My side, she is. She's frozen. Oh, no, no she's frozen. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I've, I've been seeing, like, uh, her cam flash like that be frozen for the last few mm. minutes. Oops. Uh-oh. Don't crash. There we go. Actually, we don't need that for now. All right. Um, so where are you guys going to set up these traps? You guys got to tell me this. I would say... Widely dispersed in the most advantageous places. That is vague as fuck. <laughs> you 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 have a map. Just tell me where to drop six traps. One on a roof, right? One on what? I'm gonna hand him to Lushu, at least, cause he's a uh, with his old backflip and everything. <laughs> you know, he can get up to places where I wouldn't. Plus, uh, yeah, Lushu and who else? Hunted for it already, Corin. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm gonna give my traps to them and be like, hey, you know, go, you guys go find, you guys saw where it was uh, frequenting, so you guys go pick spots. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so you, you actually have to physically tell me where you want me to place these. So where did they see them? We, uh, okay, well, we lost. Oh, one, there we go. There we go. One by, um, there's a well down below us to our left slightly. Mm -hmm. One there. Um, like that? We also saw it, we said, oh, uh, yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, we said also the cat was on a roof and um, outside how, of How about this? Um, Move your window, character like... where you want it. Oh, okay, yeah. And then I'll just drop really it. See much at the moment. Oh, uh, me... okay. I don't know. View. I can't move past here. Oh, okay, there we go. I was just moving Rokax, and now I got a little there you go. circle oh, spinny there. thing. Oh, like yeah, I'm not responding again. Uh, I think it's because uh, Miss Creation is rejoining or something. Um, I was here this whole time. I was okay. talking, uh, and uh, I heard you say, um, I'm not here. And I was like, oh, no. So I restarted, and so hopefully that should help. Okay. So, yeah, your camera's yeah. Uh, better now, too. Okay. Excellent. Can you still move or no? No. Nah, she'll I'm give it frozen. to Jimmy. Uh, what? Uh, uh, I can move just about. Yeah, I can see Echo moving. Okay, Corin's moving. Yeah, there. So we, I want to cut them off at both angles. So I'm gonna cut. Oh, I don't. I don't. Is there anything down there? Um. All right. Are you still oh, frozen? Oh, okay. <laughs> Right, okay. All right, I'm gonna go here, go up here. I'll go up. Come on, do we do it like this? Being half cut off, Rokex. <laughs> Two, three, four. All right. Never mind. Um, okay. Right, I'm gonna try and join again. Oh, did you disconnect? That's unfortunate. Um, okay. Well, how about this? We will say that you guys lay the traps, and when you come back, we'll just place them that time. How about that? That sure. worked. Cool. Okay. I'm going to close that then, uh, because it's lagging out. Okay. So you guys have the traps laid. Um, you, you said you want to actually go kill this this poor innocent owl there. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Can you okay. remove me from the game, by the way? Because I'm trying to join again, and it says username and shirt sure. thing. You're good. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, stupid program. So th there's a... Wow, you connected right away. Ooh. I'm still acquiring file list. Oh, but... yeah. Locked up because you're joining. Good hot second. But uh, you guys travel down a road. Uh, it's not too far away. It's probably about a 20-minute walk. Um, you definitely find the cave that... Uh, the he hefty mineral bards we're talking about. Um, looks just like a, a normal, you know, big animal cave. Once uh, the game loads up. Mm -hmm. Pop our butt pads. We can do those while it's loading. <laughs> like, no, you're all bright. <laughs> on your butt okay i think it should be good now i should be able to share the sheet
And then, uh... Are you guys in the... Can you guys see the sheet? I'm loading up now. Okay. Mine's not responding still. Oh, um, I had um, an update. Maybe... Are you serious? Maybe you guys need it. That would be unfortunate. Oh, yep. Uh, I saw... Corin just disconnect... Er... Uh, Pancog oh, just no. disconnected. Oh no, your 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 maps. Oh, it's all gone. <laughs> yeah, I've got Underdark Wilds gridless. Yeah, that's fine. I'm seeing a grid. Yeah, me too. Um, it's because I haven't placed you guys yet. Oh, okay. Oh, let me drag. Let me drag. Right, you gotta kick me so I can get back in. Okay. It's fine. I can. At least I can see line of sight again. <laughs> I still can't see anything. Yeah, I haven't placed you yet. Oh. My game. <laughs> it keeps it freezing when uh, people join. Hello, game. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. I think we're good. Boop, boop. Boop. All right. Lushu. Echo. And Cobb, uh, Corin. That looks awesome. One, two, three, four, five, one. Okay, so you all should be on the map now. Mm -hmm. Um, I should probably switch to. I'm not in yet. That's fine. There we go. <laughs> and uh, once you join up. We'll be able to continue. I've got all my character information, though. If you wanna, if you wanna be able to just move me and stuff. Okay. I'm getting there. No problem. Oh, uh, do I have to? Do I have to log out and log back in? Uh, can you not see anything? Not I, had to, I had to log back out, check for updates, and then try. Yes, Oof. it shows okay. that you guys can see it. That's weird. Here, I'm gonna Does stop. Does it show it. that I'm in the game at all, base of O? <clears throat> well, it's coming back on screen for me, so I... Okay, you should be good then. It's just kind of really small. Oh my god, I... But the map? It's like overlaying like two maps. <laughs> um, you can hide the, the city map. We're not using that right now. Okay. There we go. In the other one, if you right click I on it, didn't you can tell it. Out without... Yeah. The, the other map, you can right click on it and uh, do view, and then you can make it zoom to whatever size you want. Okay, I'm in. Cool. Um, looks like Rokax is still joining. Okay. Um, so you find the den. You walk in. It has an eerie, uh, green glow to it. Um, bioluminescent fungi are, uh, what is giving the the green glow inside um it's it's not dark uh but it's definitely low light it's uh harder to see uh those of you guys with 
low light vision and stuff are you know you guys can see fine um um you can see uh various bones of various different animals uh strewn about uh obviously this is the den uh that you were looking for uh to clear out is the uh owlbear anywhere to be seen uh not immediately uh, so you guys can uh, go on exploring if you want. Is the owl there anywhere? Kind of see it. Yeah. Um, um, is the water that we're seeing is it um, luminescent? Yeah. Because it's slightly green. I don't know if that's giving us a light. Okay then. So something tells me we probably shouldn't be standing and nor getting anywhere near that water. Yeah. Um, we just just Yeah. It could be actually. I but will say we that my can see it from here. I I do have my shield equipped, by the way. <clears throat> That's fine. Not getting caught without it. <laughs> That's smart. Okay. And I'd like to stay. I'd like to stay somewhat up front in front of the group to take hits. Okay. Uh, so when you, we encounter it, you kind of yeah, just, no just going to start walking around then. Uh, you you can use your your <laughs> base speed and stuff around if you guys want. If you, if one person goes across and turns right, gets that log, and puts it across, then everyone can cross over that way. Or I do have some rope. We could make like a little a rope swing, bridge or a swing. That'd be quite funny. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna yell, show yourself, beast. I yell it loud and. Oh, you're cave. just gonna attract it straight Try up, to huh? Provoke him. Okay. <laughs> Try to provoke him. Um. Yeah, that uh, that did something. Um, all of a sudden you hear uh, dang, I don't have my sound effects open, uh, for a a roar or anything. But in the background, uh, something has obviously invaded its lair and it it's not happy. It was definitely sleeping. It sleeps during the day. Um, so, um, you hear a roar off in the distance, and I guess now you guys uh, roll for initiative. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm acquiring file lists, so I'll be in an instant oh. for me. It'll be my only good roll for the entire thing. Did, did you not see the roll? Did it not come up? No. I, I just rolled a twenty, an initiative. What the hell? Oh, there it goes. Holy shit! Oh, wait, everything just popped is. in. Oh, okay. So there you go. <laughs> Twenty-three. Better than Corin, though. Oh, oh. D does Corrin even get to attack? Does, does she attack herself? <laughs> like... No, I think she's going to be at the very bottom of the list, though. No, that's uh, Int. You want initiative, the one in the middle. Echo. What? That's the one. Oh, yeah. Here. The one in the middle. I went, I went to the right one there. It'll probably be lower. No, it might not. Don't forget if he hasn't. For those of you that are worried about getting hit. If he hasn't seen you, you guys can still hide as mm -hmm. as your uh, as kind of your action or whatever. Okay. Uh, well, I'm a rogue, so I'm going to be taking stealth action right now. Okay. So um... Echo, Corin, and Rokax needs to roll your initiative. I just got oh, in. Oh, here How I, I get. get I, my... I didn't mind that. Corin rolled. Uh, I'll just add it. What's your init? I got you. Uh, so corn is three. Bro. Um, Echo, I'll just roll for you. I got my initiative there. Yeah, I see it. It added. Init. Here we go. Are we under dark wilds? Uh, yes. Oh, that's a cool map. Isn't that cool? Uh, in mm, the yeah. ambiance is all set. Damn, Lushu. Yo, crazy roll. Right? Is that our I'm fake? ready to go. <laughs> Solid numbers. Uh, I, I got you, Corin and uh, Echo. Um, okay, so... Ooh. For some reason, it thinks we're on round two, but whatever. Um, boom. How do I set you first? There you go. Okay. There's your initiative. Lucio, it's your turn. 
Okay. Um, as I'm as I'm like stealth, like all stealthy, does, does my uh, movement get reduced? Or... Did you roll stealth? No. Uh, you might want to roll okay. stealth. So I can move um, uh, thirty because I use like the stealth as the action, right? Uh, uh, your skill. You say, I, I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a. Uh, moving stealthily does not count as an action. Doesn't count as that. Oh, okay, in which case, just the type of way you're moving. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, one, two, and fifteen, twenty. Five, sixty. Take cover behind these, um, like mushroom things. Mushroom, mushroom. So I remain a little bit hidden. Okay. Um. Combat tracker turn complete. There you go. Cool. Um, let's see. This thing is gonna. <laughs> Actually, he's gonna go this way. Here you go. How deep is that water? Um, towards the middle with the the. Two bigger rocks. Uh, that's probably waist Ooh. deep. The other one is probably up uh, to your your knees. Okay. Uh, Corin, you don't need to roll anymore. We already got you. Actually, now it messed up your turn order. All right. You were three. There you go. Also, if you're talking, you're silent. Oh, you're muted. You muted yourself. Um, it's Rokax's turn. Oh, okay. So, waist deep to a normal person? Which is like uh, to you. Thigh deep for me. Waist deep to me? Yeah. Okay. Can you guys see it? How far can I go without being hindered in battle? Uh, going through water with heavy armor? I think it's half speed. Yeah. Well, how far can I go without being hindered in battle? I'm saying, ooh, I'm, I'm depending on how far I am in there. Oh, uh, yeah. You said, I, I'm assuming it gets deeper towards the middle because you clarified that the middle was way steep. Yeah. So that whole middle section that you're walking into, it kind of looks like you could draw an oval around it. That's all way steep. Okay, so the stream is what's yeah. what's uh, less. And uh, can you guys see the creature? Yes. Yeah, okay. I do. I wasn't and sure. I'm trying to anticipate. I'm going to... Um, so this is where I was, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Uh, as my action, I'm going to take, I'm going to do a reaction. So when he, um, depending on which side he crosses to, that's when I'm going to move towards that side. So. Okay. Uh, you're going to delay your turn. Is that what you're saying? Basically, yeah. Okay. As, as my action, I'm going to prepare for an act. My, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare if he moves towards, um, I'm going to put my character there. If he moves towards, uh, the entry closest to me right here mm -hmm. then i'm gonna move that way if he moves over here then i'm gonna move that way okay so he already moved he already took his sense. turn right but as he crosses okay. as he crosses he's either gonna cross towards that entrance or he's gonna cross towards this entrance to get towards us and i don't want to get caught um on the other side so okay. i don't know which way he's gonna go so that's what i'm gonna do okay uh echo it's your turn Right. Um, I have in my inventory um, some light armor. Um, you're wearing it. Am I wearing it. that at all times? Yeah, you're wearing it. <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, so I think the best thing here is just to be sneaky around the edges, um, like Rohak said, um, until we can figure out the path. Of once, of, of, of and then get behind. 
um, and get them from behind. Uh, so let's be right. So are you moving or no? Okay. All right, so that's your movement. Uh, if you can see it, you might be able to have an attack. That's definitely within yeah. archery range, isn't it? Because isn't archery range like something like 120 feet, something stupid? Yeah, but she has. Yeah, between 60 and 120. Blast. If anything, she'd oh. probably want to use that, and I think that's within range. Uh oh. Yeah, did someone disconnect? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh. Oops, wrong thing. And the the bow has a range oh, of yeah. 150. Right. Uh, yeah, so she could, you could definitely hit it with your blast and stuff if you want. Oh, uh, didn't check out blast. Uh, so, so if you want to Eldritch attack him, echo. you got to drag the uh, Eldritch Blast attack onto his face. We can't hear you. Echo. If you're talking, we can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Did I do it the wrong way around again? Because if I have, I will kick myself. Um, there you go. Sweet. Okay. Um. Oh no, you got to drag it onto his face. Remember? Oh. Uh. So you did the damage first. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me... Oh, hold on. You did it out of order. You 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 did damage before you actually hit him. Oh, I did it wrong way around. Okay, yep. got you. Let me see. I gotta see if you actually hit him. Uh... You would have missed him. Okay, so no. I gotta... I gotta heal him back <laughs> up. Boom. Okay. Uh, so you missed. <laughs> yep. All right. Pancog, your turn. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and move. How far away is he from me? Uh... I think if you right click on him, you can you target. There's some way, but he's he's within range for a bow. Okay. If you if you have your combat yeah. tracker open and you click on targets and you click on the drag to new target icon, it'll target him for you. Hmm. At least it should anyway. Oh, nice. Yeah, you hit him. Oh, I, sh I guess I should also say, as a bonus action, can I cast Hunter's Mark on him? Uh, you can use that as a bonus action? Uh, Hunter's Mark as a bonus action. Sure. Oh, never mind. It's only 90 feet. Never mind. Okay. He's not within range. Yeah, he's not within range. Uh, but you did hit him, so... <laughs> You can shoot at his face if you want. I will do that. Yay. Okay. So you did some damage. I did some damage. Mm hmm. Um, okay. So, Corrin's turn. I hate that I have to keep resetting the zoom. Um, <clears throat> let me think. 
look the map. Um. Well, there's not any enemies next to me, so I'm probably just gonna keep moving forward. Mm hmm Um. Cause I don't, I can't, I don't have any ranged weapons that can reach that far. So you have spells. Um. Yeah, I do. Um. Give me a look. Do you have any can trips? Let's see. Holy crap! Mm. Things are locking up. Oh, you have your breath weapon. Um, I think that's definitely within range. Uh, you have thunderclap. Mm-hmm. What's the range on that? And I think Five I feet. have produce flame, which might... Yeah, I think you can that. chuck that. Uh, you mean produce flame? Yeah, I think you can throw it. Um... I might try to do that. Oops. Um... Let's see. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, you blue, blue, blue. Oh, nope. You have to, it has to be within 30 feet. 30 feet? Um, I know the other one's 60 feet. Oh. Yeah, all your stuff seems to be 60, 60 feet. feet. Uh, I'm gonna use ice knife. Ice uh, knife. he's out of your, ra your range. I will. Right. Um. So if you want, you can just move your double your speed um yeah um um i'm not sure if i'll be able to get it get him from there um how how many spaces can i move up uh if you knew normal move so you can do an action is six but if you're uh moving double your speed you can move 12. But then you can't do an a attack or anything. I'll probably just move up six and stay there. Because I kind of want to stay a little bit at the back. Since um, I'm a druid and I want to let the other people that are kind of tanky be up front. Okay. Um, How do you... Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you're done with your turn? Is there such a thing as a kind of tanky person? I don't know. <laughs> All right, Lushu, you're up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so these guys have now got the bear's attention. Oh yeah, our bear's attention. Oh yeah. So <laughs> I'm gonna make my way around a little bit more. One, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30, 35, uh, 40. Okay then, so I'm gonna end my turn here just so I can keep an eye on where the Albert is coming from. And as soon as he gets within range of these guys, like melee range, like I'm guessing he's gonna be, I'm gonna be popping out backstab attacks and all sorts. So that's gonna be me chilled there. Um, it's incomplete, there you go. Okay. Um. This thing is gonna hop. And uh, that's where he's gonna end his turn. He angry, he angry boy. You woke him up from his nap time. You got broke hex. So because I delayed, I get to I get to dash to him prior to it being my turn. Sure. Right. Okay, that was for the last one, and then I'll go six, one, two, three. Bar. Okay, I'm gonna swing at this bitch. Go for okay. it. With my Warhammer attack. Isn't your Warhammer two-handed? Uh, 
No, one-handed. Okay. I've got my shield on, remember? Oh, that's right. I forgot it was uh, versatile. All right, go for it. You hit him. Bam, and I'm probably going to do action, action surge as well. Okay. Um, I clicked the little button. Oh, wait, I got to... So combat. it says you used it. Oh, oh it's already there. All mm -hmm. right. So it's used, and... Hit. Bam. Nice. Um, turn over. All right, Echo, it's your turn. Okay, I can get a line of sight from here. Um, so if I just move from... <clears throat> Do, 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 do. It's going. Right, here I am. One, oh, one, two, three, four, five. So you didn't need to move because so you're within range of him. Yeah. If you didn't um, want to move so anyway. So if I push behind that rock, then I can uh, get get the the the, the albird. Oh. Should be a plus two to AC for that at least. Partial cover? Yeah, I was gonna say it's partial. Yeah. Are right, you gonna attack him? Cool. So yeah, hit him. You need to damage. Nice. Well done. Awesome. End of turn. Yep. Bangkok. Yay. Okay. Let me let me quell my murder hobo tendencies here. Where is the big scary boy? He is out of your line of sight. Oh, is he dead? No, he you just he's out of your line of sight because there's a big mushroom in your way. Okay. Uh bonus action, I'm going to place Hunter's Mark on the owl bear. Okay. I don't know how to do that with my spells. Uh I think you can just drag it on him. Oops, I opened the wrong character sheet. Pancog. Hunter's Mark. Does that do it? Okay, so um, you have to hit him with it first, don't you? Or is it just a place on him? Uh, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it just happens. So um, click on the Hunter's Mark, click on the magnifying glass, and it'll expand it. Okay, and then, that's what... And then drag the effect onto his head. Nice. Cool. So he's marked. Cool. Cool. That works. That's cool. Uh, it happened all my weapons. No! Where are all my weapons? The hell? Where did my bow go? Oh, it's because uh, your go. mode was... Here. Now you have it equipped. <laughs> You're in combat mode. There oh. you go. Uh, you hit him. Go ahead and uh, Thank God. drag your damage. Okay, uh, Hunter's Mark is supposed to also do extra damage. Yeah, it didn't do that, did it? Another d6. Uh, so 
Hmm, that's weird. Why didn't that work? So I'll just add three. So Boom. six damage. Yep. Cool. Damage done. Corn. And it's there till he dies. Okay, bye. Let's see. I think I could just keep attacking with no, Echo. No, no, no. Corrin, not Echo. Again and again. No, no, no. It's Corrin, you... not Echo. Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try to... Um, I am going to turn into a panther. Okay. Um... And I'm going to try to, um, I guess, speed up to wherever the, um, owlbear is. I can't see it on the screen. Uh, okay. So you only can move oh, your normal is. speed. Uh, because it takes your full action to turn into a panther. Oh, it, a six, you mean? Oh, uh, yeah, you can move six. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna stay right there. All right. Um, I think that's probably the. I mean, I think that's probably the end of my turn, unless yep. like I can do anything else. <laughs> nope. I don't Thank think you. I can. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna be going for this. It's, uh, hang on. Um, I can move sixty if I'm not attacking or anything, right? Yeah. And thirty if I am. Mm-hmm. Okay, then hang on. Um... Do you have a bow? I do. Because you could um, make a sneak attack with your bow even if okay. you from there. In that case... Uh, I shall. Hell yeah, why not? Um, okay then, with my short bow. Uh, short bow... That's got to be a hit, yeah. Nice. Yep, you hit him. Uh, and 1d6. 7? Huge. Plus your... Um, extra. Yeah, your, your, yeah, decent, so, your uh, sneak attack. So you can attack, drag yeah. on the sneak attack onto him as well. Um, I can't drag the sneak attack. You should... Uh, so expand it. Click on the little magnifying glass. Buy it next to your sneak attack, and then uh, drag the effect onto oh, him. I can I can or, click it, but no, drag it onto him. Oh. See if that does it. Um, did I do something? No. I'm dragging it onto him and everywhere, but only something happens if I click it, and it just says that. There. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. It works. Okay, I have to click the owl bear first, and then click my sneak attack for it to work. Apparently. Interesting. Weird. Okay. But it didn't do your extra damage, though. It shows on my screen. Should I just roll a d6 oh, from the bottom of the bar? Holy crap. Like... You have two effects. Hold on a minute. That's weird. Uh, That shouldn't be happening. Delete. There you go. Your sneak attack isn't working correctly. So it's whenever you do damage, you should be doing a 1d6 roll self. Why is targeting? Why is it targeting yourself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not good. You don't want to be attacking yourself. All right, let's see. That didn't work. That didn't work. All right, just roll a extra d6. And I'll okay. add it. That should be working, but I don't know why it's not. Oh, great. Mm. No, right. that's one. That's eight damage. Eight damage is still good. Yep. Okay. Uh, that would be your turn. All right. Yep. Albert's turn. He is super pissed. Taking arrows <laughs> to the face. And 
the cast to the face, and uh, he sees this big, tasty-looking Goliath in front of him. So he is going to swing at Rokax. Uh, oops, I dragged the wrong thing. How did I do that? Attack. Blam. Ouch. And then he's going to... He's, he's pecking at you with his big old beak. What are all those rolls going off? Hmm? How did... Did you what? see like seven rolls go off? Hold on. Uh, I think it was... Did you do massive damage to me? Let's see. Uh... He did a damage. He did 15 points of damage to you. That's massive damage, but I want to use Stone's Endurance. Okay. So I want to reduce that. Um, and then uh, let me know how says, much. It says I went unconscious for 15 points. Because uh, it rolled on the System Shock table. Anyway. So I'll, I'll un... When you reduce it, I'll un-System Shock you. Okay, well, uh... D12. I don't know. I'll just roll it, because I, I don't know how to use it out of there. So it'll reduce by 9. Reduce by 9. <laughs> So you are at 13 instead. Do I still get, do I get, still get system shock if I, uh... No, no, I removed it. You are, okay. you are, you are stable. Q. Actually, I can that, even remove that. Um, that stone's endurance isn't on my, uh, actions list though either, so... I don't yeah. know how you got those on there. It's not an action, unfortunately. It's a... It's not an action you can trigger. You just have to remember it, and then I can do it. Okay. Um, and then it's going Two. to going to make its secondary attack at you. The fuck? Yep, he's got multi attack. Secondary oh, attack. Bro, um, cucks, no. <laughs> you don't get it easy, man. <coughs> uh oh, you be dying, or you're unconscious. Hold on. Can I use... I can use my second wind. Yes, you can. Because um, that's a bonus I action, right? The heal onto me? Uh, you should be able to just click it, but yeah. Nice. Woo! Scrape that one out. Yeah. All right. Now it's your turn. You, uh... You're gonna die. Yeah, you just took a beak and a swipe to the face. This thing is pissed, and you're like, holy shit. I barely survived that. Your shield just saved your bacon. All right, you hit him. Yeah? You yeah. Did, you did eight yeah. damage. Nice. He's still alive? Yep. Fuck. Um, hold on. Oh. I was thinking about moving, but I don't know if I want to provoke. Yeah, you would provoke. <laughs> I feel like I should because he's going to swing at me. Uh, you but, can... you know, I got plenty of people around. I'm going to do it. Uh, hold on. I can what? Can't you dash as, uh, or is that an action? I forget if dash is an action. If I dash, it's a full... Or, or it's sorry, a full, disengage. I already use my action, so I got to... I can... D &D. I, don't know, I think you have to, you have to do something to disengage. Oh, disengage is an action feat or something. Like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, I already used my action, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm gonna I am gonna provoke opportunity. Can you put it back on my turn? Uh, yep. There you go. But but he'll just be able to move right at me. Um. No, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna stand and take it. I'm not running. Okay. I'm good. Echo, it's turn. your turn. Okay. Let's see. Um. Alright. Need to get around the corner. You guys better kill him, because otherwise I'm going to die. Okay, I'm coming. I'm... Right, okay, I'm going to go for the same as before, because... Yes. Nice, you hit. Oof. You did damage. Well done. 
Hancock. Bless. Bless. Yay. I'm Boogie gonna time. attack with awesome. my bow. Let's see. Ba -da -boom -boom. Hard cookie time. Hold on. What's up, Yuri? What's up, Who's got the heels for us? Hey, think of a, you have a, I gave everyone potions at the beginning, oh. by the way. Yes. So, use those if you need. I can use that as a free action, right? Nope. Those are actions. It's a full action to use a potion? To use a healing potion, yes. Mama! Oh, no. You should work in taxes. So, do I hit? Uh, it's, do you, do you not see that it says hit? Do I only see that? I don't, we don't see hit, no. Okay. Uh, I didn't know if you didn't see that. Yeah, so you hit. You hit. And then a D6. So, and then I'm going to add oh, six damage. more damage to that. And okay, yeah. next turn, Corin. It's not dead yet. This is an owl bear. You don't fuck with him. Jesus. I am going to um run at it if I can. I'm pretty sure I can um reach it since uh, Five, Panthers 10, 15, can 20, run 50 25, feet. 30. Yeah, you you can make it. Okay. Oh, I gotta open up. Oh. Here we go. Panther. Um. Uh, you might want to go up one more. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. And, um. So you tell me what how, attack you're going to do, feet... and I, I'll, I'll have to drag it onto him. Okay. How many feet was I away before, I guess? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, 40. 40? Okay. Um, I'm going to use the uh, pounce ability, which it says if you um run at least 20 feet uh, straight forward a creature, um, I can hit with my claw attack, and in the same turn, um, the oh, target cool. has to succeed on a uh, yeah, I see it. I'm looking at DC it now. 12 saving throw. That's cool. Or be knock prone. Uh, let's see. so you're gonna... Okay, really so you gotta sure hit it with your... Claw you have to hit your claw. Let me, um... Um, the claw attack is... Fuck, I keep um, closing that. I see it. I have, I have it open. Plus two. I have it open. <laughs> I'm trying to be able to drag it. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna drag it onto the combat log. And... You are now the panther. You are 13. And you are a friendly. And your attacks. Okay. And, uh. So you said you were gonna pounce first, right? Um, yes. Blam! Pounce! Wait, did it work? Um. Boom. It's not working. And it says I can use a claw attack in the same turn, which is a, a 1d4 plus 2 if it hits. Right. There we go. The pounce is not working. There it goes. Uh, okay, so it pounced. Or you pounced. And... Save 21. Oh, it's success. It, it passed it. Uh, um, okay. So you can still claw, right? Yeah. So you're going to do that? Um. Uh, and you hit it. And you do damage. And you did four damage to him. Uh, do you get... Um, and it says... Go ahead. It, it says they have to do like a save or a strength save. Yeah, I did that. that that's what I'm he not passed. Sure if you already did that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he passed that test. Um, 
this yeah they're big scary lots of strength um i could have oh, sworn panthers had another my, attack my 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 can't yeah my panther has another attack it can do a bite attack also hold on mm, no, 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 no. you get two actions oh well no. I, I actually no no you don't i read that wrong that's, yeah that's only if it pat yeah that's only if it passes i'm yeah, sorry if it, excuse if it, me if it gets knocked prone then you get a free bite yes. attack yeah i'm okay. sorry about that i read that wrong it's all good i i have the uh the panther up on the game so i was able to read it uh, Lushu, your turn. Okay. All right, Lushu, All right, kill and, it. Um, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and do it with style. You see, you're gonna, gonna do gonna it with use style, huh? Step to teleport, just to make it look cool. Teleport thirty places rather than walk there. Uh, but because it's a teleport, I'm guessing I can go over this little mushroom in front of me, right? Uh, yeah, because you can see beyond it. So right? I can just. I'm pretty sure I can. It's not a. The one to my left, definitely not. The one in front of me. Yeah, it's saying like, as I'm face stepping and it counts as a teleport, I can go. I can go across those squares, right? Well, it's a teleport that says you have to see it in a space that you can see. But since those are low enough, it's not blocking your line of sight. So yes, you can use it. Perfect. All right, then here we go. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Face step right behind him, and then roll for daggers. Do I roll one dagger onto him? Bop. Hit. Oh, oh good. good. And then damage. <clears throat> um, do and because it counts as like the, the dual wielding, I roll my second dagger now. Right. I, I mean, you could, but you just killed him. Oh, yeah. No, no need. No <laughs> Gas. Easy. Perfect timing. Final hit. More XP. <laughs> <laughs> My loot. <laughs> uh, so this you not you pop up behind him and uh, he's surrounded by things. He's getting obviously uh, frustrated and flustered. Uh, you're able to sink your dagger right into him after uh, Corin came in and pounced him. Uh, he kind of got stumbled a bit and you were able to sink it. Yeah, final kill right into his jugular vein. And uh, he, he goes down dying. No, he's all upset. And he'd be dead. Easy. Uh, uh, easy, easy for you. <laughs> I took some hits, man. Yeah, dude. I got lucky with yeah, where you did. I was. Woo, you got crazy I lucky. You need to be a sneaky boy like me. <laughs> oh, man. No, okay, so yes, you successfully managed to take down the owl bear at the behest of the hefty mineral bards. <laughs> uh, although Rokax definitely looks a little shook up. Uh, he was looking for a fight earlier today, wanted to go take on a bear. Looks like he got his fight that he was looking for <laughs> in the I form of an died. owl bear that nearly fucked his shit. <clears throat> in a single turn. Just but, about one shot me. Yep. Dude, owlbears are nasty. Um, good thing you it had wasn't stones for my endurance. Goliath heritage, yeah. man. Your stones endurance and your second win, dude. That saved your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you were going to have a bunch of friends force feeding you a bunch of health potions <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Anyways. Level up time? Yeah, so after that. I'm assuming you're going to take a couple deep breaths after that encounter. You guys were not expecting that to go so roughly. Um, I was yeah. expecting to, that I my character would probably die <laughs> seeing as um, Tindum uh, got uh, <laughs> attacked real hard. Yeah, he had. Yeah, prob I probably would have been um, dead next turn if uh, Lushu hadn't killed him. Because I didn't, I didn't have anything else to save me. Yeah, you were gonna have to drink your sad little health potion. <laughs> Yo, I, I don't think. I oh yeah, because it went first, he huh? He would have killed me. Yep. Yeah, he would have killed me. He um, would have had to stabilize me or make start making some death saving throws. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so All right, after cool. that's I done, think, uh, go ahead. it's a short. You said it's a short walk back, right? Yeah, it's about twenty minutes. Although you're kind of jacked up, so right. add ten minutes to that. That's, that's, well, yeah, I'm only at half health, man. Are you? 
not oh, even yeah. half health. I'm not oh, even okay. half health. Never mind. Yeah, you're yeah, fine. I'm good. I, d I do need I do need to go take a rest, but I will I will limp back. Okay. Um. So you guys hobble on and back. Those nems, I, I'm gonna glare at those gnomes and make sure they pay me too. <laughs> Are they? Uh... <clears throat> oh, as a, do, as do you bring the, well, the hide I... or anything back? Do you drag it back with you? Ooh, can Cause... we chop off its head and just bring it the, them the head? Yes. Oh, sure. Yeah. So so you're gonna <laughs> yes, chop off its head. Pike. <laughs> You're gonna chop off its head, but leave yes. the body there for the bards to deal with. Just yes, for the yeah. show. Hey, we did the hard part. Okay. Yeah, Screw them. Well, you no, show up, and they're like, "Oh, I gotta fucking." Why you remove the head? That would have been totally sick. You just have a dead owl bear in the scenery. Ugh, people just don't get our art. For, uh, for an extra 15 gold, I'll go back and get it out of there for you. <laughs> no, you don't understand. We want it there. But the whole thing... Now for an extra 15 gold, head. we'll hang it, the head from the ceiling. <laughs> he, he thinks for well, a second. Well, you didn't specify you wanted the whole entire bear. We didn't specify you, anything. They didn't ask for it. They said anything. they wanted it gone. We just said we wanted it dead. <laughs> So, it's, but he thinks for a second. And he's like, he he looks at Lushu and he says, five. <laughs> and Lushu looks back and says, eight. Five. I, I look at the um, I look at the gnomes and I say, hey, he almost died. And I look over at um, the gnomes care. Yep. <laughs> Could I roll he says, a like, um, persuasion uh, that's check? That's what you were hired to do. Not my fault, they almost oh, died. Who, who has high intimidation? <laughs> I've got pretty good intimidation. <laughs> I have a plus two for intimidation. My intimidation <laughs> Dragonborn is... Dragonborn should have a pretty... You're gonna try to intimidate him? <laughs> I've got three. Corin, what is yours? Um, Hers is pretty low. If I if I try to intimidate, plus two. I can get a plus. I can get a plus two with somebody helping me, right? Sure. <clears throat> if I've got inspiration, can I put that inspiration point towards the intimidation. Uh, if you want to use your inspiration, I'll let you roll advantage. Okay. You can as always freely rolling, give it away I'm to your friends as well. That, that is so a wait, health rule. Who's who's rolling anyway? Then? Well, I'm assuming it's you, the Goliath, and the six four rogue who can't row to. <laughs> who can't row. Yeah, I'll roll my I'll roll my terrible roll here. Oh. That's bullshit. Oh uh, wait a minute. Oh, I had advantage. Oh, uh, I got okay. you. Wow, you still rolled lower. Yeah. <laughs> We're not very intimidating, are we? <laughs> oh. Ooh, Echo Ooh. with the fucking Ooh. intimidate roll. Oh! Here, me and Echo are gonna intimidate. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, yeah, the two Man. guys. Man. Heads down, looking away. Okay, yeah, you, you guys. <laughs> they got the intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh. Double 20s. Brokax, so try, try to intimidate, but being at half life, uh, they they're not too worried just because you kind of look a little disheveled, uh, taking some damage. Lushu, you just kind of look at them trying to be menacing, and uh, they're not really paying attention because they see this warlock behind them with her eyes glowing and and the archer or the ranger with uh her hands on her blades. And uh, so, so they're they're Wait, uh, they're a little worried. Uh, what are you intimidating them for? Lucy just looks backwards and says, "Told you, see, they're scared of me." Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking it's him they that uh, so they're much. scared of. That's okay. Totally what they're afraid of right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got to tell well, me what you're scaring them for. Oh, we're, we're, um, to give us more oh, gold to put the owl bear heads up. Okay. We're shaking them down. I think, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, he's going to say, 
Fine. Seven more each. That's all we're gonna do. Thirty-seven gold, not bad for a day's work, guys. Yeah. So all right. you I'll each go, get thirty-seven go gold. I did. I did the hard part. You guys can go hang the owl bear. And... <laughs> no, me and Echo did the hard part. We intimidated. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll do it because I've got like you know proficiency yeah. and dexterity. So climbing, acrobatic. I'm, I'll go up there and I'll. You do know it. that thing's like <laughs> seven hundred pounds, right? I'll just I'll just have Rokax throw it up to me. J it's Rokax is not head. doing it. <laughs> it's just the head. Uh, in which case, Rokax. I'll look towards um, Echo and say. Echo, do you have any warlock magic that can help me levitate this head towards the ceiling? So levitate, I can... this <laughs> levitate this head. Levitate this head. Levitate the head. We have rope. We I, do have I, rope. I, you guys are just gonna hang it. I, I'll, I'll help. I'll help with it. But um, I'm taking a rest first, and then we'll, then we'll go do All right. it. So I'll let I you guys take a rest. Take my hands away from my, my, so my short sword and an arrow. Cause I was, I was about ready to like hold like the arrow point at their jugular. Uh, let me see. So you you wait a couple hours to go do it. Okay. Uh, well, you guys successfully go hang that poor uh, owl bear that was minding its own business, just living, <laughs> and murdered it for the sake of these heartless and gnomes. And put it on a pipe. I have but you you I come out each thirty seven gold, Richard. Be sure to add that to your character sheets. Yes. Um, thirty seven gold. <laughs> and you will be leveling up. Ding, ding, ding. But uh, it I think we're at time here, so we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, but you will be leveling up. I will keep the uh the game. Wow, my thing is acting weird. I'll keep the the tool up so you guys can properly level up if you want. Um, or you can wait till next time. Just join earlier. Uh, so you can have that done. Um, but yeah, so you, you, you'll come back. You'll have your traps ready for the cat. Also, um, as Bellroy said, you hear some strange noise out in the distance. Uh, looks like our merchant friend is uh, coming back to town to visit. <laughs> oh. So, uh, I would make yourself scarce. <laughs> Yeah, we know how you like merchants. After that, ra after that rest, um, seeing as I could uh, use face step again, I just teleport the hell out of there. Uh, you can't. <laughs> no, don't look at me. Oh yeah, you can because it's a two-hour rest just, for you. Just, just, just for comedic purposes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. All right. Because I have a fey ancestry, I can rest quicker. Yep. Um, but after you hang it up, I'll let uh, let you guys take a a full rest. Um. At the end, uh, Belroy approaches you guys and says, Hey, um, I, I already heard about uh, what you guys did to help. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the venison. That is uh, greatly appreciated as well. Um, so tonight, uh, dinner's on us, and uh, you have some free lodge for the next couple of days. Uh, we, we appreciate awesome. you stepping up and helping us out here. Um, it means a lot. And uh, we'll get into more of the details later because it's late for a couple of you guys. Um, but I hope you guys had fun. Uh, it went a different direction than I was anticipating, but it worked. Uh, that's how it always goes. It so always the best ones. That's that's my thing. It's like I try to, I want to plan stuff, but then you always got to be like, you can't plan for shit. Your players are gonna do what the hell they want. And you can't anticipate yep. anything. That's true. <laughs> so that's true. That's why I struggle with DMing. Yeah, it's that's why I struggle. It's fun, but damn, it can be hard. <laughs> it's a hard, it's yep. a hard job. And for those of you that have never done it, you gotta show some respect, man. That's it's hard shit. Yeah, but it's fun. I like building the world. Um, let's see. Next week we'll uh, be back, and uh, you guys can try to capture a cat. Um, you got the merchant there that you can talk to. And uh, I guess we can continue on from there. Uh, do you guys have anything to say? Questions, comments? What do you got to do? No. No, that was good. That was good. Yeah. Good, good, uh, good game. We found the cat. Yep. We had our first almost death. Uh, she caught it. She caught the cat. Yeah. Quest done. Level up again. Let's go. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you guys got some fear shook in India that stuff... Uh, <laughs> damage is not being pulled you you can get fucked up 
real quick. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's end here because I know it's late. Um, I'm gonna do the outro for Twitch, but uh, you guys, I'll keep it open. Feel free to update your stuff as well as you need. But you guys can say goodbye. Bye, later. Later, guys. Bye, bye. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See ya. <laughs> All right, my friends. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you guys had fun. Um, that was very interesting. I had fun. Um, if you liked it, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let's you know what you like and what you're not liking. We'll be back at this again uh, next week, uh, hopefully. Um, and we'll find out what our team gets up to. Um, why is... Oh, I thought this was like a perfect line, and I thought my webcam was being cut off. Um, we'll see what uh, the quarantine team gets up to next week with their shenanigans. Um, I can't anticipate anything. And uh makes me think of my toes. I, I already every session I always mess something up with uh what I wanted to do with the story. I kinda caught it in time for this one, uh with uh the belt and anything, but uh hopefully uh I'll get better at that as we move ahead. But I hope you guys are having fun. Um if you are, remember to like, subscribe, comment. I already did all that. I don't need to do that anymore. Um what else? We'll be back in it next week. Same time, same place. We're getting the whatever why is this cut off this should not be cut off here let me fix that um there we go hey look i can move now um now i forgot what i was gonna say anyway we'll be back at it um hopefully they'll be able to talk to the merchant do the cat thing whatever is gonna come with that and uh i'm excited for what's to come uh hopefully it turns out the way i want and uh yeah we'll catch you guys next time but uh, more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasive, and, and on behalf of all of us here at Quarantine, thank you guys so much for tuning in to us, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya! Thank you.